The Horrible Gamers podcast may contain content not suitable for all ages. Listener discretion is advised. Gamers Podcast, show number 229, being recorded on October the 27th, 2018. I'm one of your hosts, Jesus Gonzalez, also known as Jesus Walks Out today. I'm joined by the crew, Henley Merrill from the West Coast, the best coast. Gunny Chief is back. Welcome back, Henley. Howdy, partner. How's everybody this evening? Everybody's doing mod fun. Tell you that, partner. Good, good. And from the great state of Michigan, our friend, Eric Smith. St. Howdy. Is back. I'm here, I reckon. I bet we get this show started and get it going. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, partner. Welcome you hear back, me, partner? <laughs> Welcome back. Woo! What's up? Uh, I, mean, and, yeah. I mean, what's up? What's up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you can follow us on Twitter at underscore Horrible Gamers. You can join our Facebook community at Horrible Gamers Podcast Community and leave us feedback at feedback at horriblegamers.com. That is our email address. Go ahead and email us. Quick shout out, real quick, to our Patreons. Patreon.com forward slash Horrible Gamers is where you can go to support the show every month with your financial donations of any monies. Any monies, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Like Jonathan Hall, Alan Maybe, Joshua Wolf, Evan Tanaka, John Jerome. Adam Sunday, Clint Theo, Dirty Bites, Robbie Wheat, David Snyder, and Brian Capessa. Thank you guys for being Patreons. That's our posse. That's the posse. That's the gang. Mm. That's gang. the gang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fowler and Twistics Breakout is the intro song used by us. Our outro song is done by Bro for Free. It is Night Owl. So go listen to them anywhere you can find them. Support them. And uh, let's get into video game talk. Pretty much, this week, I played two games, and that's it. Once <laughs> dominated the other game. <laughs> so, uh, actually, I played three games. No, I played three Bobo. games. I played three games. You had, to play, you had to play Call of Duty, right? I don't know that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, she doesn't know that. Anyways, yes, I played some more Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops. And the other day, I went into Blackout, and it's just... Blackout is hard, man. Like I, well, I made it to the top four, top three, I think, and um, I was able to get one of the crates that came from the sky, and I killed like four people <laughs> on my way to the final circle. Um, I got pretty lucky. I landed in Nuketown. I landed in the bottom. I, I I usually go there a lot. It's the bunker that's underneath Nuketown, like the hidden um, nuclear bunker. So I went there. And as I jumped down there, some dude jumped down there with me. I turned around and shot him. And I took off running into the bunker. And then I ran into some other dude that was looting like the inside of the bunker where like the like the living room area is or whatever. So I shot him while he was looting. And because uh, he didn't see me run up behind him. I don't know how he couldn't hear me. I had like loud ass footsteps. He must have never paid attention. So or no I headset. shot him. Yeah, or no headset. Yeah, so I shot him and mm-hmm. the fucking back blew him away. And then I could hear people running by me. So then some dude came running because he heard the gunshots in the bunker. So he came running down to that little room. And I was hiding behind this pool table or whatever, like this little table. And I see him go up to the bag of the guy that I just killed. So he's looting the body that I just killed. And I caught him by surprise and I killed him. And then another dude ran down there. But he wouldn't run into the room so I couldn't shoot him. He would like run up to the door. But he would Uh, stand there. Yeah, he would stand there. And like he knew that I was in there somewhere. But he didn't know where I was at. So he wouldn't run into the room. He was pretty smart about it. And that dude ended up, like, I could hear him just running back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, where the hell? How come this guy doesn't come back, like, into the room? And he wouldn't go into the room. Finally, 
And like I, I stopped hearing his footsteps, and I was like, "Oh fuck, he's waiting for me out there now." You know, like he's probably waiting yeah. in the hallway, aiming down the hallway. And then the circle started to close, like it was like, "Oh, collapse imminent." So like started closing. So I was like, "Okay, it's time to run, Jesus. You gotta just run because you can't get caught behind the circle." So I equipped some of my perks and I took off running. And the dude was gone. He like disappeared. Oh. I don't know where he went. He must have just went back to the top and said, "Fuck that! I'm not going through that bunker. I'm just gonna go back to the top." <laughs> um, so then I, as I was running down like to like the next circle area while the circle was closing in on me, I found him. He was inside like this little house, and he knew that I was back in Nuketown. So like he was camping this little house with a little window, like a little hut thing, and he started shooting at me. And he like hit me a few times. But I was able to turn around real quick and just shot him like through the window and killed him like pretty quick. I was like, holy crap, I killed that guy hella fast. And then I killed him. So then I just kept running and I ran across the bridge. Across the bridge, I ran into some other dude. I killed him. Like I killed a bunch of people, man. Finally, I made it to like where where the circle ended up that time was in the like where all the sh- where the ship is at and like all those cargo containers are at. So I ended up oh, going yeah. into like the big room on the top, like the, like the room that overlooks like the cargo area, and you can kind of see the ship. But from that room, you can see the lighthouse from the other window. I was kind of camping there for a bit, and um, there was a dude on the big ship because I could see him shooting people. Like I could hear the sniper going, you know, like he was shooting people, and then he was shooting down airplanes, like people that were flying helicopters. I could see him shooting rockets at the helicopters. So I was like, oh, that guy's up there. So I was like, should I go up there? And I was like, no, I'm just going to wait it out here because I was in the circle and the circle kept collapsing on me. So finally, the last second, I see him running down from the ship because the circle was like, it was like at the last circle almost. And I shot at him. I kind of like hit him, but he was able to dodge me. And then that guy was the one that ended up killing me because he was hiding on like the top of this container. And as I ran out from the last circle... Um, he shot me from the top of that container, and I was like, "Ah, oh, damn it!" And then I watched him, and he was the one that won the chicken dinner or whatever. Damn. Like, because I the watched victory. him. Because it was me, him, and some other dude <coughs> left. And when I sh- when he shot me, the other dude came out shooting at him, and he shot that dude. But then there was like one guy left, and then him and that dude were going in circles shooting each other, and the other guy was trying to punch him. He must have ran out of ammo or something, because he was just like, he was shooting at him at first. And then he stopped shooting at him, and he was running at him with, like, his fist trying to punch him. I was like, that dude must have ran out of ammo or something. Right. And then the dude won. I was like, ah, oh, damn. But it was cool, man, I guess. I play a lot more of the multiplayer. Of course, you know, as you know, I prestige already, so, like, I'm trying to rank up. And uh, learning different tricks that people are, are using now, like, what, you know, like, the jumping and shooting is, like, obviously the meta in the game at this point, like... People want to jump and shoot all the time, and that's something that's kind of hard, pisses me off, because, like, I can't do it, so, like, it gets me mad when other people do it to me, because everyone does it to me. Like, they just jump, 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 and shoot. Is that, like, the new uh, drop shot kind of thing? It's kind of, like, was... there's some people that do both. They'll jump up in the air, shoot at you, and then drop down on the ground flat. And keep kind of like a Halo type thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Where they used to do that all the time. Well, well the thing is, in this game, they even encourage it because they have a perk. I think it's called... I forget what the perk is called. But anyways, it lets you jump. And when you're jumping, your aim increases. <laughs> like, your aim increases while jumping. It's like, what? <laughs> that makes made, no sense. Who the hell made this perk? And, <laughs> and it's like, yes, like you, yeah. can, you can jump faster, you can climb things faster and shit, but like also if you're jumping, your jumping doesn't affect your aim at all. Your aim will stay steady if you're jumping. So I was like, that makes no sense, but I, it's a perk in the game. So like they're obviously encouraging it, and I hate it. I fucking hate it, dude. Like that's the worst. Um, <clears throat> but besides yeah, that. Yeah, like I'm good, I'm good side to side, but. Trying to move the cursor up and down is a little more difficult. Yeah. So. Yeah. But then again, I'm not a Call of Duty player. So. Besides that, I played some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A little bit more of that, running into that story. Um, doing more missions, etc. Um, well, that game is good still. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I played. I played a few hours this week. A couple. Yeah, yeah. enjoying the story. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's probably the main thing. <sighs> But I still refuse to buy that ten dollar thing. But I'm still enjoying the story. I think that's, it's kind of like that's where that half of that fun is for me is in the story. The other half is, the combat, exploration. Yeah, yeah I ran into Father 
Uh, I won't say any more on that. Ooh, what but, was your decision? Mm, uh, basically, let him go. So then, yeah, so then now I'm at that. I went back to talk to the other guy, and I don't know what happened at that point. I went back to talk to him, and basically I lied to him. I think that was, like, one of the only options. Well, I told him, I said, look, you know, I talked about mom. I'm trying to be coy here, but, uh, and then, I don't know, and then You're a nice. fight ensued. I think he ran. I think he kind of turned on me. I'm not sure. So, but uh, that was like a really good twist, you know? Yeah. Like, man, this is freaking awesome. Yeah, so right now I, <clears throat> I was on this pirate island and like talking to this crazy pirate chick. And now I got to do this side quest where like I fly on my ship. I have to equip her colors or whatever of her of her fleet. She has like a fleet of pirates. <clears throat> so I gotta equip the colors of her fleet and run around and destroy ten ships, but they have to be like different kinds of ship. I gotta destroy like three pirate ships, three of the Spartan ships, and three of the uh, Greek ships. So I gotta do that now, and I'm like, fuck, ship combat. Uh, yeah, because yeah. so, uh, when I left, <laughs> when I left <laughs> that island after talking to Dad, um, you know how there's like there's just kind of ships just kind of out and about and i was like wait which one's an enemy ship doesn't really say no like the, it's usually the black ships the ones with the black cells those will attack you pretty much all the time the other ones like the spartan ones won't attack the you. red ones the red ones yeah. don't attack you and the blue ones don't attack you unless sometimes you, if you get too close to some of them they will warn you I, and then they'll I think that's you. what it is yeah um, like there's big uh like the big like the big greek ships are huge they're like the big blue ones I haven't seen them. <clears throat> those will attack you if you get too close to them. They'll be like, get, get away. And then if you shoot at them or even aim at them or whatever, or kind of run into them a little bit, <clears throat> they'll just start attacking you. And, and usually they have like two or three ships with them. So like now you're fighting four ships and it's kind of shitty. Um, yeah, because that was cool. Like it seemed like when I was just traveling that short area yeah. where it did seem optional, yeah. where it was like, oh, if you want to engage, engage. If not, just keep going on your way what happened to me the other day i was i ran into a big battle between two big ships and there was one of the spartan ships against one of the greek ships and they're just trying to kill each other <laughs> they were big ships too and i ended up helping the spartans kill the greek ship and then i turned around i, I looted their ship i boarded it killed everybody looted it i jumped back on my ship and then i attacked the spartan ship because i knew it had low health so i went after them and i killed them too <laughs> <laughs> I was like, kill all I'm killing everybody. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the option that you can, you can kind of get them, doing them down to where the ship is pretty much nothing, and then you can board the ship, take their loot, um, or you can just just completely destroy it. It sinks. Jump down. Get get the treasure from whatever treasure's on their boat. Yeah. So it's like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean, like Assassin's Creed continues to be Assassin's Creed for me. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. Um, honestly, though, I'm gonna have to probably end up buying that XP boots because I don't see myself finishing that game before the end of the year unless I do that. Um, yeah, I don't either. I think I'm gonna after, have to get that XP boost, especially after Red Dead came out. Like, there's no fucking way I'm stopping playing that game until I like, think <clears throat> the end of November. Maybe when. Battlefield 5 comes out, I'll stop playing it a little bit, but holy fuck, dude, that game has its hooks in me. <laughs> dude, I've been stuck on the same freaking part on Assassin's Creed for... What part? I mean, I'm doing the big battle against the, 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 the Sparts. First, yeah. Yeah, against yeah. the Athenians, and I cannot... I don't know what the frick I'm doing. And I can... Because I'm hmm. dodging. I'm, I am, I'm dodging, and I am... Probably 60% of the time, I'm nailing my dodging perfect, so it slows everything down. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, that gives me that attack of opportunity. And then I am also parrying, like, no one's business. But <laughs> it's it seems like most of the time, I, you know, I, I'm destroying I'm destroying the, the generals or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, to... Yeah, it's, it's basically just helping you get your your health back up once you yeah. kill them. So so then when you you're fighting that mercenary, you're at full health. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I do that. I get my full health, and then I'm fighting the mercenary for a little bit. You know, I'm doing pretty well. I'm dodging. I'm parrying, and all of a sudden, three people come out of nowhere. <clears throat> and so when I'm trying to parry one of them, 
he attacks me, and then yes. I get attacked again, and it's so freaking annoying, man. And I'm gonna have to get that. I'll probably have to get that boost because I, it's it's games like that. When games do that to me, I have no interest in playing them ever again. That's weird. That's why I, you guys are having a lot of trouble with that no, mission. I didn't have so, much trouble with it. Let me let me tell you because I did that one this week, mm. or it was either Sunday or Monday. What level are you, Eric? Nine. Okay, because I had the same issue. Remember where I was saying last week where I was the eight. And then it would go into almost that animation of where it wasn't the mercenary, but it was just a higher level dude, right? He was like level nine. And he well, would... I, yeah, see, I'm not noticing that because I was when I was starting that war, that that battle, I was level eight. And so I was I was like, all right, maybe if I can level up a little bit, they'll still be level eight. I can be up to like level nine, maybe get them a little advantage. Well, I did that. I got to level nine and I did the battle again and they all went up a level. No, not for me. Not that didn't happen to me because what happened to me was I went to nine. I think I got to nine and a half. Right. So I went into that battle and obviously I'm more equipped better for to defeat as many enemies as it was. What what was this? You're supposed to like defeat nine of them or something like that. But I think it has to be in a certain amount of time. Right. Because you've got a meter on both sides. You've got red and blue. And (laughs) because what happened is I went back in started the battle, and I noticed this time it didn't do the animation for the guy to come out. It was just like, all right, just start killing dudes, right? Because now you're equal levels. I'm like, all right, I just started killing dudes, and then it showed that my that like my uh, side or whatever the Spartans were losing. But it was like down to a sliver, and then it said, ah, oh, you pretty much failed. I was like, what? And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I think I know what's going on. I think I know I'm not doing it fast enough, right? I'm kind of like just being cautious and Went back in, did the same thing again, except this time I'm like, I'm using more powers, right? The Spartan kick, I'm like yeah. blocking and yep. everything, right? And I said, okay, well, you did it. You did, what was it, nine, nine ten enemies. Um, in a, you know, it didn't say like there was a certain amount of time, and it was like, boom, mission over, you win. So do I not have to fight the mercenary guy? Uh, you shouldn't know, because if you were, I what I found out was, since I was a level below, the mercenary kind of presented himself right yes and then he so then when i hit level nine and a half or whatever that's when i went back and it never went to that cut scene right it just basically he was the same level and i just killed him quickly i even you know to try to you know get past that part i brought my difficulty level to easy from normal (laughs) but i think just to try to get just get past it and i can't yeah and i can tell like that that mission is pretty much fixed, but I think what it was trying to get at was just kill nine or ten enemies or something like that. Which well, I was like, man, if I shot, knew that, right. you know? Right. But I think you have to kill them, like, at a certain amount of time, and it doesn't give you a timer. It just kind of shows you everyone's health bar, like, at a, a fighting game. And how much Bro, is that XP boost? It's ten bucks. I, I have the ten dollars. I'm just like, I can cash in my rewards points or whatever it is, like, for various things but i'm like no i'm not giving you my 10 bucks it's 10 bucks for uh um the xp boost and i think that's five dollars for the draft my boost and you could buy both for like 15 bucks so how much does the xp last for forever ever yeah it's, it's constant yeah, yeah. And, and it carries to your other saves in the in your game as well like if you have other files like other save files like if you're playing one as cassandra or something too or whatever right Right. I don't carry to those as well. It's just tied to I think it's just tied to your Ubisoft account at that point. Is it like a double XP then? No, it's no, like a... It's 50% XP boost. So yeah. like it gives you right. one and a half times boost compared to like getting just the regular XP that you get. It'll like right. give you half of it extra. So if you're going to get 1,000, you'll get 1,500 XP instead of 1,000. Right, <clears> right, right. And then also, Eric, the other thing I recommend, and I, I didn't get this from the, the book that I bought or YouTube or anything. I went in and, because I think it was like one of the things that was available for your perks, your buffs on your sword, your armor. Yeah. Uh, I tried to put on, I think it was the 4% uh, stamina, stamina boost. Mm-hmm. So I had like fours and threes and twos all over, like my boots, my sword. What is that like? Um, is that the engraving? That yeah. yes, that's yeah. the engraving, and that because I I upgraded a bunch of equipment that I could upgrade, and, and also 
yeah, and if you you'll also notice like where you're like, okay, well, I'm missing what is it? The soft leather. You can buy the soft leather, and it's I th- I thought it was fairly cheap. Dude, I don't cool. need soft leather. Dude, every animal I see, I kill it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I, I just ran out I and got rock. The, yeah, <laughs> whatever it was, it was the metal that I needed. But you could buy that okay. too. Uh, I think that was a little more expensive in the store from the blacksmith, but. Yeah. Well, I'm broke right now in that game. I spent too, all my money upgrading my equipment and weapons. Yeah, I got to a point where I'm like, okay, it's either it's it's bust or nothing, man. And that really, I think that's what got me with that stamina boost and just trying to kill them as quickly as possible. So I was like, ah, oh, I figured this out. I see what's going on. Because I was like, yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that. The health bars on both sides. So, but I'm glad I got through that mission and then. Well. The next time I play it, I think I'll just try to avoid that mercenary and just kill up ten people. I believe I could be wrong, but I believe it's just kill as many people in a short amount as po- time the, as possible. That was your your very first like battle or war, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ex- okay. Minus the beginning cutscene, which was. Yeah, because I. Yeah. It does. I don't think it says anywhere that I need to kill. Just ten people. I it doesn't, but it showed me that after the mission, I was like, "Well, why didn't the frick did you tell me that in the beginning?" Doesn't tell you anything. Hmm. All right. Well, it gives me a little motivation to try it again. Yeah, and I just went out and did like you can go to like the quest markers and I go do these bandit camps. I just went and I've, found the bandit camps. I've done. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, and I have no other side quests I can do. There's none available. And there's really nowhere, there's no bandits that I've been able to see. Unless I, like... It's the question marks. Yeah, that's likely. just yeah, that's just different locations, right? Just right. to find different I, locations. I think they're the question marks, aren't they? I mean, that's what, really, you're going to run into either, like, a castle or a bandit camp. Right. Um, and, and it was funny, because I actually ran too far and then I ended up in like the area that's level 31 to 36 and I didn't <laughs> realize it and I think it was a wolf that came it was chasing me and I was like oh I guess I'll hit it and it and it actually tried to like it took a swing at me or whatever try to bite me man that thing threw my horse off my horse almost died I was down to a sliver of health and I paused it real quick and I was like oh my gosh I'm in the wrong <laughs> totally the wrong area. I got up and like ran as fast as I could back Gunny to like doing camp. gunny things. <laughs> I was like, I ran too far, damn it! But it was funny though because I was like, I gotta be run back into my level six through nine or whatever it was. Right. Okay. Yeah. What else, Jesus? What else we got? Anything else before we want to talk about the big game? Pretty much. That's the only other thing I played is Red Dead Redemption Two. I mean. Yeah, I have a lot to say about this game, guys. I have a lot to say about this game. You know? Well, I, I reckon I'll be excited to hear what you gotta say, Jesus. What the hell you gotta say? Well, let's not say it yet. Let's go. Uh, let's just talk about our games we've been playing. Okay, you know what I played this week, guys? Your game, boy. Go, <laughs> boy. <laughs> We're saving the best for last. Go on now, boy. I, yeah. I played a game yeah. <laughs> called the called the Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Over over Overkill. What, what what's this is? game called? Walking Dead. What, is what Overkill's Walking what Dead. What is this? What what this is, is Dead Walking <laughs> Overkill? Uh, Jesus and I got, I have to remember what this is because I don't know what it is. Remember? Um, you don't know it's what it the is, beta. Boy? You're playing something. You don't know what it is. Yeah, what, it's, what it's the, the hell beta. Is a beta. I played it on PC. <laughs> I reckon you were crazy. You're a I witch. am no PC <laughs> expert. I couldn't figure out the chat, but as far as the gameplay goes, I think they were like cooperative missions, almost like a horde mode. Uh, except I didn't couldn't find really much ammo for the game, so I, I did a lot of axe killing on some game zombies. Ammo in the game. So is this yeah. uh so this is a co-op experience you're saying? Is the full game like that? Is the full game based on like online cooperative play? I don't know. I would imagine it. 
I don't or does know. Or have a single player story? Because if it's if it's trying to be a Fallout seventy six, Fallout seventy six is going to destroy this game, right? Um, because they're both kind of releasing around the same time, and and if it's a co op experience, I'm sorry, man, but I don't see it. I I don't see this game succeeding. I just I'm sorry, dude. If a company like Valve can't compete with with um, that one game, what the fuck was that one game? Evolve, right? I, and that game was well done. It was polished, and and they had lots of perks. And th- those guys had a proven track record for making a game like that with like Left 4 Dead. I mean, you know what I mean. People knew them for those types of games, and they couldn't catch an audience for their huge game. What's gonna make me go to Overkill's The Walking Dead? I mean, every Walking Dead game that's released ever, it's it's crap. It's garbage. Well, remember why, the first why would I want to they... play this? Yeah, but going back to that first one, I think that was uh, who I don't know who did that one, but it wasn't uh, Kirkland's whatever it was in his studio. But that was back. I remember that back on the 360 PS3, where it's like we got to release something, and it's going to be Norman Reedus in the in someone's backyard fighting zombies. And I was like, yeah, I'm not buying that. And and like that, I know that game. That game did bad. That game it did terrible. Oh, it did. It's so bad. But oh, but man. I played it and it was a bad game. It wasn't good. Yeah. So so how are you going to convince me that this game is worth my money and and that it's going to be a good game, Gunny? You got to convince us right now, Gunny. Well, right so now. I don't think I can because what <gasps> I have the same questions as you do. I want to know: Is there going to be a separate single player campaign? And then yeah. the beta that I, I played is basically for like some sort of stress test to see how multiplayer works. G- uh, Gunny, I have questions. Okay. Ask um, away. From so, what little I played. Only played about two hours. So is this... Um, this is like Fallout 76 then, right? No, I that. thought it was more... I felt it was more... Because it looks like I don't want to say Left 4 dead. dead. I don't want to say Left 4 Dead because that one was a little more fast-paced where this one was slower. Uh, it was in a very linear Are you linear trying to experience. survive? Like, are you, do you have to like build a civilization or a... a no, so what it is is you start out. You You're just go, a group of four people killing zombies. Pretty much, and then you have that to is find the exact the premise of Left 4 Dead. <laughs> yeah, here's the four fuel tanks, right? Okay, go fill the generator. Okay, everybody fill the generator. Now press the button. The door pops up. You can go to the next area. Okay. And in the meantime, various zombies are. I mean, coming it out sounds like I'm, a. I'm looking at this uh, news article. I'm watching here, and. Uh, it is a it is a co op experience. It's only co op. It says here it's a four player co op, first person shooter set in a post apocalyptic Washington D.C. So, yeah, you got to play a co op, and you got characters yeah. to choose from. They all have special abilities, skill trees, and story arcs, and you got to pretty much get supplies and a few extra survivors to beef up your base. And so you do have walkers. a base. Yeah. So so it's kind of a uh, State of Decay 2 with Left 4 Dead kind of game. I almost want to say, it from what it felt like, and the, sh- and the shooting felt good. It looked okay. Again, I'm running on a on a GTX 1060. Maybe a little bit of Killing Floor 2, um, except, again, you're just kind of moving from one area to the next, right? you got to get this to put that wire inside this thing, and you have to collect four of those What's to that? make the gate go up. What's that one game? It's parkour in a zombie apocalypse. What one is that? Which one? What do you? It's a, it's a zombie game, but they do. There's a lot of parkour in it. Oh yeah, oh, uh, dying light. Dying light. Yeah. Yeah. That that game looks phenomenal. Um, and that is a yeah, great but game. It, They've even it, got a really cool uh, like a. Does a it play like, like that a little bit? Battle Royale. No, it not like that. I, that I didn't feel sucks. like I was climbing on anything. Mm-hmm. E- everything was like on the that ground, sucks. and you find everything. <laughs> I'm watching an eye level. I'm watching an E3 trailer, and this guy Congrats. tried sniping the person three times, and he sucked. He was just standing there. He wasn't doing anything. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks like a a fun game to play with three other guys drunk. Yeah, and they had like. AI bandits that were like, like real people, right? Like, oh, right. you're going, you got to get past this military area, and it's like, all right, well, I had the crossbow and I think the handgun and something else, and I was getting some pretty good, 
shots on him killing the mm-hmm. zombies and the regular humans, which were like the bad guys. But um, and yeah, you drop on, on the PC? ground and they just somebody comes up, revives you, and in the meantime, you can shoot kind of like, you know, I don't want to say it's like Call of Duty because it's not Call of Duty zombies, really. It's very. Is it's this, a little more. Is this only on PC, Gunny? No, the code I got. I, I think anybody can just. I just went over to Intel.com and like signed up for like future stuff. And then they sent me like a beta code. So. Gotcha. Yeah. But, yeah, there was one other game I kind of wanted to throw in there besides Killing Floor. Because Killing Floor is like, that one's more, you stay in one room and fight a horde. This one's like, okay, how do we get to the next area? So, yeah, but that's that's about all I played on that. But that sucks, man. I was hoping there was like a really good single player game. Like yeah. open world or what have you. I'm looking here, the release date is November 6th. So like I said, this game is releasing right around before... Fallout 76, I just don't see it appealing to lots of players, especially right now in this moment. You know what I mean? It's it's we're we're oversaturated with games, and I think well, there there hasn't gonna, been any marketing on this well, game you're gonna, either. You're like, going to find this game on sale, I think. By they keep oh, showing yeah. the same trailer. Freaking humble yeah. bumble, humble bumble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, by, so if by, you see the trailer, it's nothing like the beta. Stuff. By Black Friday, this game probably is going to be on sale, man. I, I just... I, I, from what I'm seeing, I don't have confidence in the game. Uh, and from what you've told me, it doesn't seem fun. You would have been more excited to talk about it had it been a good experience or a fun experience. I just don't... I don't hear it from you, Gunny. And from what I'm seeing your the voice. game... I just no. I don't think that it's gonna be yeah, that fun. I reckon that game's gonna suck. Mm-hmm. I think I think so. Mm-hmm. And I've watched like the gameplay that I watched, like it seemed like everybody had enough ammo and I was like, It's killing floor too. That's what it is. It's the same exact thing. You run around, shoot zombies. All right, next wave, wave three. Yeah. But I mean again, this one I played was more of that I guess you could say story, because it was, you know, activate the next room, okay. Uh, get to this area, but it didn't really give any story. So, but again, just a beta. Let's see when it comes out. It should it should have a a battle royale mode. Have a yeah. Map as, but speaking of the battle royale zombies. mode, zombies. We never talk about this, but um, I watched one of my Twitch streamers play that Dying Light on there. That's pretty intense. Uh, I don't know if I I'd, I'd pick it up, but it looks pretty badass. I don't know what they call it. Their battle royale mode. Oh, they have a the battle royale play. mode. Yeah, it's on I Steam. It's, I assume it's on Xbox and PS4. Assuming. I didn't know they had a battle royale mode. They do. I and maybe it's still like in a beta phase before it does come to consoles, but maybe somebody can confirm that in the group. I'm looking right now. Yeah. yeah. This game's so that's a pretty game. Fallout 76. Fallout 76 is coming out very soon, too. That game is kind of weird. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Again, I don't really have any hype for it. So, uh, And it's really weird how they're doing their, their beta. They are not. They don't have it just open all the time. you got to play on a certain time at a certain time, on a certain day on a certain time <laughs> when to play. I see it's the not, schedule. And again, not, that's for pre-orders. And they've released a statement saying that, like, this game might be broken when we launch it. So it's like, that's kind of weird, you know? It's like they're kind of like trying to soften the blow. Because I feel like so, the game's yeah, going to be very bare bones when they <clears throat> launch it. You know what so I mean? So October 30th, it, it does open for everybody. So will they keep it? Will they just keep, once they flip the switch, will they keep it on for a while? That's the question. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll just I would hope so. For like the weekend. I, don't, I just don't know, man. I, I think they Yeah, more than that. four hours? I realize they, they probably realize they have too many players to get on the servers, and they're like, "Fuck, fuck, what do we do?" Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't. I just feel like this game isn't gonna do good. Yeah, and I, I hate I to Are say it because I w- hope the best for Fallout because I like Fallout, but I don't. Know, it's like what um, Matt said on VGO. You know, it's for a single player experience, and and that's what I've always ta- said about from the beginning from this developer Bethesda is mm-hmm. we know them for their single player experiences and their stories that are built and and the gamers that have played fallout have always experienced fallout in a very 
closed and, and sterile environment. You don't have an input from other players. You're just playing mm -hmm. a story yourself, you know. And this it's not that. This is you're literally in there and the NPCs really don't do nothing. From what I've from what I've seen in the videos, people are kinda of bored with it. They're saying like like mm -hmm. there's nothing here really. Like all you gotta do is build stuff and kill other people and kill other players. And the key component is building your base. But what yeah. do, what are you going to give us to do around that? You know what I mean? Like is you're going to have side quests, yeah. etc. Right. I, like I, you're going to have to have NPCs that you speak to and make decisions. Yeah, you know, stories, some kind of story. Like even a light story will help this game out. I think. I saw something that said that it was. It just felt like a Fallout Four mod. Oh yeah, that's a good analogy, Which, and that's. I mean, it kind of sucks. Right. It looked like a co-op experience yeah just from what in the yeah from the gameplay that i watch where i'm like they're just they're just killing uh mutants you know yeah or i'm like that's cool i mean that's cool you can get in and do that co-op experience but but well not cool for me but i again i'd rather have that story and run into a random person that wants me to go down two floors and retrieve this weapon and make sure um i've taken my rads so I don't die from cancer or whatever the fuck. That's what I want. And I want to find other shit that I can use. Yeah, that's... You know, I don't want to play an MMO or anything like that. Not that I'm going to pay 60 bucks for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I reckon. Mm -hmm. I reckon so. Yeah, and the building thing is like, meh. Not really. Yeah. Can you build it for me? Otherwise, I'll go play Minecraft. Or Anyways. Other games you guys been playing? Anything from no. you, Gunny? No. No, just the three games. I have I have other uh, games. Well, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm. Um, I talked about what I've been struggling with. There was one night where I was fed at battle, so I was kind of roaming around trying to do some other things, seeing if there was any low-level mercenaries for me to kill. Well, I found one. He was level 9, so he was the same level as me. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll kill this guy. And so we're fighting on over by the Spart Spartans, the Spartas, or whatever. By the over ships? At, no, it was over by their um, their border. So you could see where their, their the gate and everything is at. I'm fighting over by them. And I'm fighting this guy, fighting this guy. And then all of a sudden, like, two other wolves come around. So these Spartan dudes are trying to kill this wolf. And then they, they kill it, and they're sitting there watching me. Like, eight of them sitting there just watching me. And I'm fighting this guy. I kill a mercenary. Then they all attack me. Literally <laughs> everyone from this base, there's probably about 20 of them, just flooding right out of this base, coming and attacking me. And then I... I got out of it. I like I hid and they I, they lost me. And so I went over to uh where that that guy's at so to start the mission. And I'm perched up on like a tent or something and I just got a new perk to where you can throw that like broken spear like a dagger. You can throw it like a dagger. So I'm like, "Oh, sweet. I'm going to try this on an animal." No, I hit one of the big guards that Oh are, no. Like, and, like, right next to that guy. So, like, then this whole clan is, like, attacking me. And I'm like, what the frick? And so I'm running around. And I get some more wolves. And I meet those Spartans again. And they're, I probably had about 20 people chasing me. So that was, that was entertaining. <laughs> Sometimes they chase you pretty far, huh? Like, I have one, yeah. one lady or dude, like, was just, like, not giving up. Yeah. So uh, that, was, that was entertaining. Um, I did play some Black Ops 4. Um, I haven't played a lot of it. I've maybe played a total of a match and a half. And yeah, it feels just like a Call of Duty game. But those dogs, dude, those are really hard to to see and kill. They're so quick. In the Team Deathmatch? Yeah, in Team Deathmatch. I haven't tried anything else. I've just been playing some Team Deathmatch. So if anyone wants to play, let me know. I'll play Call of Duty with them. What is your system? Xbox. All right. And then I've just been playing some Red Dead, and I'm sure we'll we'll talk about that. 
Anyone uh, else? Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. I just... think that's it, partner. Yeah. Just the three. Some RDR. Yep. Two. Red Dead Redemption 2, I reckon. Red Dead Redemption. Prepare for spoilers, folks. Mm-hmm. I was riding my horse well, and his balls it. shrunk. Uh, right I'm going to keep it eyes. spoiler free for the most part. I mean, I know lots of people that haven't played this game yet and they're debating about getting it or they haven't got paid yet and, and can't afford to get it just yet. Um, anyways, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out on Friday, Friday night, midnight. Um, for us West Coasters, it was 9 p.m. Thursday. Yeah, fuck yeah. It was midnight for me, homie. Sucks for you. Sucks for you, huh? Yes, it does. I started this morning. Yeah, I, mean, I started tonight. <laughs> um, anyway, so the beginning of the game was really slow. I, I was trying to play it on Thursday night when it launched because um, I was I was just waiting. Literally, I was on my home on my dashboard and the little the notification popped up and said, Red Dead Redemption 2 is now ready to play. So I launched it. And then the beginning of the game is very slow, right? It starts off, you're you're in this like tutorial area. Very slow like. And um and and you fucking it's just slow, man. Like like they're you know, you're holding A to ride your horse everywhere for yeah. a long time. And you're yep. going with your gang and you're in the snow. Um <clears throat> Uh, and, you know, I just, I didn't really enjoy that that much. Uh, and maybe it's because I was tired. So, like, I ended up, like, staying up to, like, midnight that night. for I played for about three hours. And I ended up passing out. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I need, to, I need to get some rest. I've been up all day. You know, I get up at 4.30 yes. in the morning every day. So, I was like, I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. And I can't stay up all night. I was planning to stay up all night. I couldn't. So, I passed out. And I came back on it on on Friday afternoon. Yeah, I got off of work. I came home. I got back on it, and that's when like the game really kicked up for me a lot. And I'm enjoying it way more than I did in the past. Um, so the game at that point got me to do the like the little hunting mission. You go and hunt some deer for your camp, and you you end up going back to camp. And then a few more story things happen. You go kill some of the or, or Driscolls. The Driscoll so boys. Oh, Driscoll. Yeah. We got um, us a Driscoll. So you kill them, and then you just when you ride your wagon out, and you know you're talking to the dude about the past or what happened in Blackwater, and he's kind of telling you like, you know, you gotta trust Dutch. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, Dutch is your part. You know, the leader. You gotta believe in him. You gotta trust him, and you know, and and it's kind of interesting how Arthur really hates John. He hates him. Like, he doesn't like John at all. He fucking hates John Marston. <laughs> and he's the main character from the first game. So I'm having, like, a... I'm having a kind of, like, a weird uh, thing with that. Because I really like John Marston from the first game. <laughs> so, like, every time he's talking shit to him, it's kind of weird for me to see that. Um, but he, he hates him. And, I, and I, he hates him for... like I, From what I heard is... John Marston apparently left for a year. He left the gang for a year. And... Now he's back, and he's the only one that's got. He's the only one that's got a uh, like a pass on that. You know what I mean? He has. He's the only one that can leave and show up. You know, so Arthur's kind of pissed off at him. But Arthur and and John Marston are the only people that Dutch has raised from little kids, and and that's just, that's in the story. Like they were both raised from little kids in the gang. Like Dutch picked them up when they were just babies. Like I think they were just little boys. Like maybe four or five years old Um, is this uh, is this what you've learned over the course of playing the game you learn this in the beginning of the game like right in the beginning you kind of learn that arthur is kind of like he sees dutch as his dad and you don't really know about arthur's past besides that dutch kind of raised him like that's what you know and he also raised he also raised john marston but john marston has left the gang for a year and Recently, you guys picked them back up because he joined the gang again, and Arthur's pissed off at Dutch because he's like, "Why do you trust John? He left our fucking gang for a year. I've never left you, and he has. Like, why do you love him so much? Why do you trust him? You know." So he kind of doesn't like him, but he's still part of the gang, and and Arthur doesn't question Dutch. He's like really loyal to the gang. He does anything for the gang, and, yeah. and that's that's something that's kind of interesting in the game, you know, because there's lots of loyalty there. But anyways, once you get into the main story, like the main the main map opens up you're in the like more like deserty area it's not really it's a desert but it's not like red dead redemption or the first one where everything was like brown 
very brown, very dirt everywhere. This is more like desert slash like snowy mountains slash Louisiana, like bayou. Plantation. There's <laughs> and, some plantation going there's, on. There's some I saw farm I saw D- Dakota River, but I don't yeah, I don't know where the game takes place. I think it takes place in Louisiana and like like in the Midwest, Louisiana, Dakotas, um, and those areas, you know what I mean? Because there's buffalo roaming around, there's bison, um, there's a uh, then there's like the snowy mountain area of the map where you go there and it's just snow. So like you're up in the mountains, really high up. Um, lots of cool things that I ran into the game though, man. The game is a simulation. Like at this point, like I know the game is just a simulation of like cowboy life. I think. <laughs> It's Westworld. That's the only thing I can compare it to. Like, like, that's the only thing I can compare it to. Honestly, like, I don't have anything else to compare the game to besides Red Dead Redemption, the first one, and it it kills that game by miles. It, this game is so good. I've everything I've done in the game has left me impressed. Dude, dude I've played for I, don't know, I want to say more than fifteen hours at this point, and. I've done nothing but mostly side quests. A few story missions here and there, but it's mostly side quests. And it's just because I'm running into people on the side of the road, and all of a sudden that'll lead me down a path that I'm like, holy crap, what the hell am I doing up here? You know, like, <laughs> how the hell did this I end up over here across the map? <laughs> and and right. I've done lots of side quests and lots of cool stuff. There's a guy you meet at a bar, and he wants you to take pictures of all these gunslingers. So, like, I've been doing that now, going around, like, asking these guys for stories but half the time they're all drunk or they're all like hiding in the middle of the woods from the law because they used to be killers and they want to kill me so i end up doing like one of those duels like the draw duels um and those are kind of tough dude because you gotta like this time it's not like the last game where you just um engage red like the the dead eye and you just lock on and you shoot real quick this one is different you gotta slightly hold right trigger down and the more you're you're holding it, the longer you get to like aim your gun. But if you don't pull your gun out fast enough, like say you're holding it forever and you want to fill up the meter, the other guy can pull out his gun like halfway. Your meter's halfway and the other guy's pulling out his gun and shooting you already. So he right. can kill you before you fill up your meter. So you got to kind of time it and kind of watch them to see if they're about to pull out their gun. Um, that's really something new in the game. And, and as far as I've seen, Deadeye does not apply to the quick draws from what I've seen. Because when you draw your gun, you got to physically aim it yourself. you got to move the cursor over to where you're going to shoot at them. And then if you hit them once, you can keep shooting your gun and it'll kill them or just keep shooting them. Um, yeah, I actually knocked my, my aim assist down a little bit. And I think that kind of helped me too. Yeah. Um, what else have I done? <laughs> I've, done I've done so much in the game. Did I but, it, on but you spoke about... You spoke about holding the right trigger down for, like, that duel or what have you. But if you notice, too, in the beginning of the game where you do go out and you have to get some deer, some some game, I noticed that where it's trying to show me, like, hey, if you hold down, I think, right trigger for too long, it like, it doesn't work, right? It's, like, trying to tell you, like, this is a real bow. You can't just, like, pull back on it yeah, and hold it forever. The bow, yeah, the right. bow is like that. Yeah, you can't... You can aim the with the left tight, or with hard. your left stick, yeah. They pay a lot of Which I thought that's cool, I think. This game, oh, everything dude, is detailed, yeah. man. Um, so, like, you know, like, there was this guy I ran into town. He's a homeless dude. And then he's like, well, you got some money to spare, mister? So I gave him, like, a quarter, right? I'm like, here you go, 25 cents. Oh, the homeless vet? And then he was like, can I be your friend? Are we friends? <laughs> and I'm like... Yes, we're friends. He's like, well, thank you. Like, no one's been my friend for years. You know, I'm homeless. No one wants to be my friend. Everyone just ignores me and walks by me or whatever. Like, no one wants to be my friend. And then he's like, can I hug you? Can I touch you? And I was like, fuck no. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck away from me. (laughs) And then, like, Arthur kind of tells him off, like, really mean. He's like, get the hell away from me or I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, and then he's like, oh, okay, I oh, will. I think that was the humblest oh, 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 vet because he kept cha- he kept following oh, me around, and guy. I was on my horse. <laughs> so, like, it's really crazy how, like, those things can... And, and people can see, like, what you do to other people in town, and, and your reputation goes up or down. Um, lots of things have happened in the game where <laughs> it's just like, holy fuck, I can't believe that just happened. Uh, there was a really cool moment in the game where I was riding through this area i just killed a bear so i'm riding back to the to the the guy who you have to sell the pelts to or whatever 
And I was going back over there, and there's this dude on the side of the road, right? And he's sitting there, and he's talking to this horse, and he's like, it's all right now. He's like, it's all right. You're going to be fine, you know? And he's, like, holding the leg up of the horse, like, the rear leg. And he's fucking with the horse's, like, hoof, you know? He's trying to, like, mess with something on it. I think it's probably the horseshoe came loose or something. He's trying to fix it. And, and as I'm walking by, I kind of stop. And I'm looking at him, right? So I'm holding left trigger to talk to him. And I go to press, I press X and, and Arthur's like, what's going on there, partner? And he, and he gets up, kind of like puts the horse's leg down. And he kind of turns to me and he's kind of like going to tell me like what's wrong with the horse or whatever. And the horse kicks him in the back of the head before he even says a word. And then just, the dude just like flew forward. And like, I was like, he just landed in the middle of the path that I was riding on. And the horse took off running. And I was like, holy fuck. And he just, he was dead. Like the horse killed it him. Just, it would have been funny at like a nice <laughs> Easter egg to just be like, it would have showed wasted, you know, but not you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like the horse just fucking killed him and took the off running. The horse fucked him in the face and he yeah. did it. <laughs> Wasted. Was, but it's was, funny, like, Jesus. I, I was dying right when laughing you... though when I saw that. I was like, "Holy oh, fuck, dude, that's that hilarious!" But <laughs> it's funny, Jesus was telling me that today in a in an Xbox Live party, and just before that, I was standing next to my horse because I think I was supposed to get the repeater or the bow or whatever it was, and I did accidentally punch my horse. But I think you have to like punch it in the face or something. Um, but I actually hit it like in the side. I was like, whoops, I pressed B instead of Y. I yeah. was trying to get on my horse. That's that, what it was. That, that and it kind of jumped up, and I, like, I was like, okay, wrong button. When I was I was in the town, and the first time I ran into a dog, I'm trying to pet it, right? And I'm thinking it's like Assassin's Creed where you press Y to pet the dog or something. So I press Y, nothing happened. I press X, nothing happened. I press A, nothing happened. <laughs> You punched I press, the dog, didn't you? I press B, and Arthur <laughs> just kicked the dog right in the fucking face. He's like, boom, kicked him yeah. right in the face. And, like, I'm in the middle of town, dude. Like, all these yeah. people are just looking at me like, what the fuck's his problem? And some dude, <laughs> re- dog. Some dude reported me for animal cruelty. So then the police showed up. And, hey, I reckon you're going to get out of here, boy. Like, there's some crimes that the police will let you go for, like, like just this call like disturbing the peace or something if you run your horse into somebody and kind of like bump into them a little bit and you kind of scare them it'll be disturbing the peace so if they go tell the police the the sheriff or something the law man they'll come up to you and they'll be like get the hell out of here you know and they'll just want you to leave the town so like you have to ride off but if you don't leave and the and like as soon as they tell you like get the hell out of here if you don't leave or if you don't tell them all right calm down calm down they'll just pull out their gun and start shooting at you. So, oh, like, damn. that happened to me today. I was in down in Louisiana. I was down in, like, the big city down there. It's a very big city. It, it's a big city for the game, you know, in terms of the other cities. But it's, like, an advanced city. Like, it has, like, a train car going to the middle of town. Um, the people there are more... They're dressed more like East Coast people where, like, they're, like, dressed, like, in suits and stuff. It's all very fancy looking. Well, so, I'm in that town. And, uh... I have my horse, right? And I'm riding my horse, like, on this sidewalk. And I bump into this lady. And she's like, oh, my God, he's attacking me. And she took off running. And it's like, witness spotted you disturbing the peace. So she took off running, right? And I'm chasing her. And I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to lasso her. Because that's what I usually do to all the witnesses. I lasso them and I hogtie them. (laughs) So, like, I was running after her. And she made it to, like, a police officer, and this dude looked like a cop. Like, he would look like a regular city police officer. He was wearing, like, a blue outfit or whatever with a black hat, and he had a, he has a rifle with him and a revolver. And he turned around, and he's like, all right, ma'am, you know, like, he, he turns around to help her. And then he looks at me, and he's like, you! He was like, what the hell is your problem? And, like, I, I, like, I pulled up the thing to, like, defuse the situation, and I was like, oh, like... I'm sorry, sir. You know, like, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean to do that or whatever. It was an accident. And he's like, you better get out of here. And I'm sitting there with my horse and I'm looking at him and, and you know, and he's like, I said, get out of here. And he pulls out his revolver and I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And, and I was like, all right. I was like, should I shoot this guy? I'm like in the middle of the town square. Like, there's probably 50 people around me. I don't know what to do. So I kind of just like slowly backed away and took off in my horse. And it was like, all right, you're good now. You're fine. So like. You know, situations like that do happen where the police will tell you. You don't have to kill everybody. You don't have to be in a gun battle. That's cool. And, like, in that situation, it would have been bad for me to be in a gun battle, right? Because say I shoot this cop, 
50 people just saw me shoot the cop. They're all witnesses, and they will all go different directions running to tell the police that I just shot this cop. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, then I'll be a wanted man. Um, and that's happened to me, like, for example, yesterday I got wanted in two different counties. Um, I saw that. I'm obviously wanted in Blackwater because of the, <clears throat> the main street. Like, you're just wanted there because of the what happened in the beginning of the game. I went to this other county to bust out. I think it was Micah. He was stuck in jail. He he killed somebody, and they were going to hang him. So I show up to town because Dutch tells me, he's like, you need to go rescue him. And Arthur doesn't like Micah. Arthur's like, why should I rescue him? He's a piece of shit. Like, he deserved to be hanged. And Dutch is like, no, no, he's a brother. He need to go help him. So I show up to town, right? I walk into the police station, and I'm like, hey, I'm here. You know, I hear one of you guys has uh, one of these boys around here, you know, from whatever gang. And I'm from Blackwater. I'm here to take him back to Blackwater. I'm a bounty hunter. And they're like, well, we don't deal with bounty hunters around here, so no. Mm. And, and Arthur's like trying to like convince them that he's a bounty hunter there to collect the guy to take him to the big city to you know because he has a bounty on him. Right. And they're like, well, we're not going to let him go. You can see him when he's hanging off of the, you know, <laughs> the when he's hanging when he's being hung. So I'm like, oh fuck. So like I go back outside. I talk to him through like the little bars. So I, I was able to, like, bust him out, right? So I bust him out somehow. As I bust him out, I was thinking, okay, maybe we're just going to, like, bust him out. These cops are going to come out here. We're going to shoot the cops, and we're going to take off. No, dude. Micah goes on a fuck page, and we kill half the town. <laughs> Literally yeah. half the town. Crazy. Like, we shoot Damn. about probably, like, 50 people in that fucking town. And we take off out of town, and then we leave, right? So, like... My health was kind of low by the time the mission ended. Like, my health was really low. So I was like, I'm going to set up camp on the side of the road here, and uh, I'll be fine, you know. And as I set up camp on the side of the road, you know, my bounty is $85 in that area because of all the people we killed. And so I set up camp, and I sleep for, I think it was like for seven hours or something, like get my stats back up or whatever, because you got to sleep and eat to get your, your health bar back up and your stamina back up. So I woke up. And as soon as I woke up, like, there was a little, like, you know how when enemies are searching for you, you have, like, the little red highlighted on the edge of your map, your mini map? Mm -hmm. Well, that was there. And I was like, why is that highlighted red, you know? And I opened up my map, and I kind of zoom in, and, like, literally, probably 100 feet away from me, there was three bounty hunters. <laughs> oh, great. And it said, like, it said, like, it had red schools on them, and it said bounty hunters on them. So I'm like... Fuck. So I'm thinking to myself, what <laughs> like do I do? Creed right? here, like, what, what do, yeah, it's like Assassin's Creed, right? These guys are searching <laughs> for me. And you can see them. They're like looking at trees. They're going into bushes. They're kind of looking in the bush. They're looking for me, right? So like I kind of walk up to them on my horse, right? I'm like, all right, pack up my camp. I go over to them. And they're like, oh, there he is. There he is. You know, one of the guys points me out. And, and then he comes up to me and like he pulls his rifle. And he's like, all right. He's like, all right, Arthur, put your hands up. Well, you know, we're here to take you back. You got a bounty on your head. And the other dudes, I could kind of see them. They're kind of like spreading out around me. I, I'm watching them, right? They're like spreading out slowly around me. So now they surrounded me kind of. They got one to my left, one to my right, and one in front of me. And they're like, we said put your hands up. Put them up. Just don't try anything stupid. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, fuck. These guys want to take me to jail. So I... Real quick, I equip my revolvers because I have, like, dual revolvers at this point. I got, like, a second holster so I could pull out two revolvers and start shooting. So I pull out both of my fucking guns, dude. And, like, I fucking, like, these guys destroyed me so quick. I was like, holy crap, dude. And, and, and then, like, again, I reload the game. I'm in the same position. But this time, instead of being three bounty hunters, there's four. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. So I do the same thing. But this time, I don't even talk to them. I just run up there, start shooting at them, and I kill them all. But when I killed them all, my bounty went up. Yeah. So now I'm trying to ride out of this area. It's like a county because it's like when you're wanted in like one area, you kind of want it in the whole county. So you got to ride to the next county so like they don't come after you anymore. So I'm trying to run out. of. I'm trying to ride the hell out of there. And like on my way out, dude, I ran in probably like six bounty hunters, man. People, they were just, they were just looking for me, dude, because it said on the That's map, awesome. on the map, it said you have a bounty of like $100. You're wanted, dead or alive. Like, there's no question. Like, you either surrender, or they're gonna kill you. <laughs> and, and and when they kill you, your bounty doesn't go down. It just stays there. <laughs> it sucks. You're right. Reload checkpoint. 
Try yeah, it again. That was that's kind of tricky. Um, but then so I'm curious if it off. if let's say you get away and I don't know you're there's probably a cool down period. But if assuming you come back to that area, maybe you're still wanted dead or alive, but they're just not so aggressive. Um, I think that does happen, Gunny, because uh, if you go back, I went back into the area because I was a bounty hunter and there was somebody that I needed to get that was on that side of the river. So I rode over there, but it, when as soon as I rode into that area, it said, you're wanted in this area of the map. Be careful if you're spotted in the town. You know, if someone recognizes you from the posters or something, they will they will tell the police you're here. So you got to be careful where you're riding around. So, yeah, because remember at the first... One of the first missions um, that I did today was remember to put your bandana over yeah. your face. Yeah, people. And I couldn't figure it out. Me. I couldn't figure it out, but I was like, oh. okay, I see how you know LB press R B press down then up to equip bandana. That was a little difficult, but yeah, um, I, I've I was gotten used trained. to the I've gotten used to the menus and and how to like equip all this stuff. I've gotten pretty good at it, and um, I'm not having so much trouble with that anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's so much things that I've done in the game. I've done evil stuff, dude. Like I've killed people like this one dude, um, he owed money to my gang. Cause apparently there's the new gang, your gang lets people borrow money and with the, in, with like, they're going to pay it back with interest. Right. But sometimes people don't want to pay back. So they sent Arthur to go collect all these debts. <laughs> and like, I show up to this guy's house and he's speaking German to me. Right. He's like a fucking German, and he's like, uh, you know, like I'm gonna fucking speak German to you. And then Arthur's like, I don't speak German. Stop fucking speaking German to me. And he's like speaking, and he's like, oh yeah, does this. You know, he's all fucking speaking German. And Arthur's like, look, mister, you owe us money. Give me money. And he's like, I have no money, no money. And Arthur's like, okay, well, how about I take your shit in this house? <laughs> I, and like, so I beat the guy. First, I beat the hell out of him. And then finally, he agrees to let me take the stuff out of his house. So then, like, I just loot, like, all the stuff from his house. And I feel bad for the guy because he's, like, crying, dude. I take, like, his wedding ring. Oh, <laughs> I- I'm taking his stuff, dude. And he's just like, no, no, not the wedding Don't ring. Don't take, Ar- man. And no. Arthur's like, shut the hell up. <laughs> you shut and up, man, boy. You shut up, boy. Yeah. And, like, I was like, holy mm-hmm. crap. I felt so bad. I was like, that's, a- that's, like, that's terrible. And there's been other moments in the game where like stuff has happened and people have died and i legitimately feel like a bad person i'm like this game wants you to be a bad person it almost seems like the game wants you to be evil and And they make that known throughout the dialogue yeah they do make that known throughout the dialogue and i like that that he's like arthur is always saying to everybody that he meets you know we're bad people but we're not like that you know or Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, this is who we yeah. are, like it or not. There, there's, there's been a few times where, like, I've held people on the side of the road, and they're like, oh, you're such a good person, you're a nice person. And Arthur will tell them, like, no, I'm not a nice person. I'll kill you if you ever try something <laughs> stupid, you know? Like, I'm not a good yeah. person, but I'll help you out right now, because you need it. And um, that's what I did today yeah. in that mission that they showed at E3, where the guy goes off the cliff. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, I did that one today, too. I, uh, I don't get there yet. I let, so I'm kind of doing the opposite, I think, with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I, I let him live, and that was pretty, f- yeah, yeah. I, I thought, okay, let me get him back up. And that was pretty cool, because he's like, he's like dusting him off. Arthur's yeah. dusting the guy off, going, uh, yeah, your name is so-and-so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember that. I got a good memory. Yeah. You have yourself a good day now. <laughs> and the guy, and the thing is, Arthur, what he does is he writes things down. If you look at his journal, he'll, like, draw pictures of people and, and kind of write down, like, what he saw and what he experienced. Because, um, like, I have drawings of, like, different random people. Like, there was a, an old blind man on the side of the road. And he was, like, in the middle of the desert. And he's like, ah, oh, no, can you spare some money for the, the homeless? So I gave him a dollar, right? Because you got the option to steal from him or give him money or, like, just talk shit to him. And I was like, I'll give him a dollar. So I give him a dollar. And then he's like, you've been walking the wrong path your whole life. You need to turn your God or something like that. And, Ar- <laughs> and Arthur was like, yeah, whatever the hell you say, mister. And I kind of just, like, right away, you know? like like. And then, But but Arthur drew, like, a, a drawing of that guy in his, in his journal. Because l- later on, like, a few days later, I was reading. Because sometimes, you know, I go to my camp to sleep just to restore my health and let my horse rest and restore its health. Um, and just to talk to the gang. Because there's things that happen in the camp that 
probably won't ever happen if you don't go back there. Um, so I was back there, and, and as Arthur was writing his journal, I opened up the journal to read it. He drew a drawing of that guy, and he was like, yeah, the other day I ran across this, this feller in the desert, some old blind man, and he thought oh. he was some kind of prophet. <laughs> kind of weird, you know? So, like, maybe that guy will pop up later in the game. Maybe he won't. I don't know, you know? Like, that's the type of things in the game that that happen that you don't know what's going to happen in the future or the consequences of those actions that you take. Um, and, yeah, the other day, today, actually, I was riding through the, the big city in the south. I forget what the city's called. <laughs> But I was writing, I think it's called like St. Des Moines or St. Demis or something like that. I was riding through there and, and some dude was on a horse, right? And he's walking by me and he's like, what the hell are you looking at, you piece of shit? And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, and I, I turned around and I, and I kind of am walking behind him on my horse and I'm like, yeah, you, I told him like, you're, you're a piece of shit or something like that. And, and like, he kind of like, well, he kind of like kept walking. So I pressed B again to antagonize him. And Arthur was like, yeah. You good for nothing, you know, dirt bag or something like that. And then the dude kind of like stopped. He's like, what you say to me? And he pulls out his revolver and he's like, I'll kill you right here on the spot if you keep talking that, if you keep talking like that. So I, I pressed B one more time to see what the dude was going to say. And he started shooting at me, right? And all the people like around me, they're all like kind of watching us. So he shot at me a couple times and I, then I shot him and killed him. But then I was the one wanted for for assault i was like what the fuck like the dude was coming at me man i was defending myself so right. i took off i took off going down the, the like the, the witness right i'm chasing him down on my horse and i pull out my lasso so I'm, i tie up the, the dude who uh who was going to snitch on me and when i tie him up i do it kind of in front of this house full of people like on like they're kind of all standing there on the sidewalk so the dudes, then it says, now you're wanted again for assault because now you're assaulted this person in front of those people. So then one of the dudes comes up to me because I, I got this dude on the lasso and I'm pulling him towards my horse. One of the dudes that saw me do this to this guy runs up to me on my horse and punches me in the face and pulls me off on my horse. And I'm like, holy crap, what the fuck? And then Man. I got like, I got six dudes around me, right? Six dudes. They're like surrounding me and they're all trying to fight me. They're like, you piece of shit, we're going to kill you, we're going to get you, you know. And they're all, like, around me, and I was like, holy crap, I'm scared, right? Because, like, it's kind of hard to fight in the game. It really is. The combat is kind of tricky. So yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm punching two dudes, I'm fighting with them, and, like, four more guys show up. So they're all surrounding me, trying to beat me. So what I do is I pull out my knife, and I stab two dudes in the face. <laughs> I never thought of that. Actually. I pull out my knife, and I stab one dude in the neck, and the other dude, I stab him in the face, like, twice. And I kill them. And then the police, next thing you know, it said, boom, you're wanted for murder. Your your bounty is now $40 for killing these guys. And, <laughs> and like, the whole area turned red on the map. And, like, you know how, like, red dots will pop up if people are enemies? Well, about yes. 20, 20 of those dots popped up on me. Like, all of a sudden, as soon as the area turned red, 20 of those dots popped up on me. And, like, you hear, like, the, the people saying, get the, get the police, get the police. And next you know, like, five or six policemen showed up. And they're like, put your hands up. Put your hands up. And I'm, like, sitting there. I'm looking at them, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, I got, like, <laughs> half of the police force in this town just showed up right here to arrest me. So I, I, I surrendered. I put my hands up. And they're like, don't try nothing stupid. And you have your hands up, right? And it's like, I won't, mister. I won't. And the, the dude is kind of walking out to me kind of slow. And he's like, don't put, don't try anything stupid now. But like when they're walking towards you, you can change your mind and just shoot everybody. Because it'll say like, draw a weapon. <laughs> you can just draw your gun all of a sudden. Yeah. Just boom, 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 boom. Start shooting everybody. But I, I didn't do that. I ended up going to jail. And yeah, you go to jail. You sit there for like a few days. And they'll take the, like, some of the, like, when you when you have a bounty on you, like, say it's $80, they'll take most of the bounty off, like, they'll make you pay that, but, um, you know, like, you don't have to pay as much. You don't have to pay, like, $80. You'll pay, like, $70 instead of the 80 So, like, instead of the 40 bucks, I ended up paying, like, $34. I was in jail. And then okay. Let you go. Right. And then they reduced your bail. Yeah, they reduced my bail. I'm good to go. I left the town. And I was like, all right, go do some missions. And I just, I've done so much in the game, dude. <laughs> how, long, how long am I going to be in uh, the first town where I'm at in Val Valentine? 
well, as long as you want, really. Okay. I mean, I'm not even sure. Really, I'm just there to get supplies, and yeah. I'm supposed to lay low. But you do not lay low. Let no. me tell you, when you first get there, <laughs> finding everybody doing <laughs> yeah all kinds right. of stuff, and there's really cool stuff that just kind of happens in the story. Like, I'll be in my camp just hanging out. And someone from the gang will run up and they'll be like, hey, 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 this just happened, this just happened. And they'll tell like a whole story about something that just went down in a town like far away. They'll be like, this guy just got arrested. Like it'll be somebody from the gang. And then like you'll be like, oh, what the hell happened? And they'll be like, well, we were hanging out at the bar. We got drunk. And then we started a fight. And then we shot someone. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, just like stuff. Just, like that shit would just happen randomly in the we were game. At the yeah. Bar. Started a fight. Yeah, and and that's that just happens naturally. It almost feels like like it's just natural the way it happens. It is crazy because, like that's how Micah ended up in jail. They were just hanging out at the bar. Micah shot somebody because he didn't like him. He didn't like the way he was looking at him. So he shot someone. <laughs> and and so, so like now you got to go rescue him, and then we kill half the town, and now I got a bounty on my head. <laughs> it's just that just happens in the There's game. People man. gone. Um, that's crazy. I had a. Yeah. I got into that bar fight that that's just kind of part of like the the story and like right now for like the last five minutes I did go in and I took a bath right and I took the deluxe bath that's where the female mm. comes in she'll help you where, help where you do bathe. you take a bath at in the hotel I, right at that hotel where you go to okay because that my see guy your, is dirty uh, like female Arthur's. friend grungy yeah shit. he has mud all over his face and his hand oh man his jacket everything is covered in mud yeah. so. And I remember from E3 and with articles we talked about, like, okay, if I'm going to interact with people, I don't want to look like a, a freaking sea monster or just something terrible looking. So I go to take my bath. I didn't get the room yet. And I come out and I'm like, now I'm like looking for my hat because I got my hat knocked off. It's gone. I either have to go back to the general store and get a new hat or find the one that got knocked off my head. Weird, Sounds because like on me... On me, what I did is I went to my camp, uh, and I went to my tent, and on my chest, you know how you can equip clothing items on your chest? Um, you can you can make an outfit of, like, the stuff you want to wear and keep an outfit on your horse. Oh, yes, that's so, like, true. It's got its own, yeah. like... Uh, so every time I lose my hat, I just, inventory. if I forgot where I lost it or whatever, I got into a fight in the woods or something, I forgot to pick it up. I'll just be riding my horse, and it'll be like, equip my hat. Now, I'm always wearing my hat. I always equip it when I'm riding my horse. Now I need to find my horse, because remember we came via, like, a stagecoach type thing where we all kind of yeah. traveled in, in the caravan? Yeah. Not a caravan, but more, you know, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, do I got to run back there? It doesn't let me fast travel. At least um, I don't see an option. You end up buying a new horse. Well, I bought a new horse, and that was kind of like a story mission. Like, it was like, ride into town with Hosea, and he'll take you to the stables, and you can you can sell the horse that you have already. That's kind of like he doesn't like you. But you can keep him, and, and and you can even buy a new horse and just keep that one in the stables and pay like the rent to keep that horse there, or you can sell him to the stables and then buy a new one. So what I did, I was like, oh fuck that horse. I sold him for like five dollars, and I bought one for a hundred and fifty dollars. And when I bought him, the guy like gave me like a brush. I was like, oh here's a brush you can keep it clean and. And here's some snacks for it. It likes to eat carrots. Snacks. So then he gave me some carrots to feed it. So like now. Oh yeah. So that's now, something else you can buy too. I, I bought. I did buy a uh, one thing in the store when you first get there. I bought the horse regen. That's a super helpful. That. Yeah, because when you're riding your horse, sometimes it'll run out of stamina or something, and you're chasing somebody down. You just pull out these needles and just inject them with like fucking steroids or something. <laughs> Boom, yeah. keep running, motherfucker. You know, we're gonna chase going to chase this guy down. I need more morphine! <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, that's cool stuff, you know. Um, yeah, I've done so much in the fucking game. It, it's crazy. Just the level of details in the bars and the saloons and the town with the sheriff, with everybody. Like, you can literally talk to people and, and like, you can get into fights for staring at somebody for too long. Like, Ions was telling me he was walking through the town and he held LT too long, and he was looking at this guy for too long. The guy pulled awkward. out a gun and shot him. <laughs> Horribly awkward. <laughs> so, like, that happens in the game where you could just be looking at somebody, and they don't like the way you're looking at them, so they'll kill you. You know, I noticed that when I'm back in my initial camp, mm -hmm. uh, when it first starts out, 
you can go and get food. You can go rest. You can shave. And uh, so I want to say there's like three females in the group, in the gang. And so I went over to, to see the two women that were there just to see, like, you know, can I interact, like, as far as, like, get medicine or whatever it is, right? But that's just where they're camped at, right? I mean, it's super close to where you're at. And I walk over there, and I'm like, darn, you're standing on top of one of the women, right? But, I mean, they're just sitting down. And then she looks at right at me. She's like, Arthur, you're a little close, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh, let me back up. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And and when you walk into the camp, Arthur automatically talks to some people, and some people automatically talk to you, and you kind of get a little bit of dialogue. Like, when yeah, I sleep the at the camp, I usually sleep till the morning. And so when I wake up, everybody's kind of like groggy and everybody's going over to like the fire to get coffee. And and I was kind of standing there and I was talking to Miss O'Shea. I think she's Dutch's wife or something. And like, oh, how's it going, Miss O'Shea? And she's like, oh, it's going fine. You know, things are getting better around here. You know, we appreciate you installing that new chicken coop. It really helped out the gang, you know, it helped us out. And then Arthur's like, yeah, well, it's fine. You know, just whatever I can do to help out. And then Abigail, John Marston's wife, walks up to the coffee thing and She's like, John? And you're like, yeah. Or she's like, Arthur? And you're like, yeah. And she's like, well, how are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? She's like, well, I'm doing a little bit better. I'm starting to like the camp a little bit more. And, and the boy is starting to like the camp a little bit more, you know, like their kid or whatever. And then, like, it's just little dialogue like that that makes the world seem very real. It seems very natural flowing. And they'll talk about the things that you've done, the things that you do. Um, and every time you ride back to camp, if there's somebody going, <laughs> they'd be like, who goes there? And you can respond and be like, it's Arthur, you dumbass. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that, that's happened to me yeah, a few I, times. I saw that. I I mean, I'm just right, right in the beginning of the game. But yeah. um, <clears throat> when you are um, traveling with Dutch and, you know, you, you're just leaving that hideout. Yeah. And those guys, <clears throat> after burning the house down, you come back and the guy's like, who goes there? Oh, it's just Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like really quick you're yeah. like oh it's just not yeah, okay. yeah. Like, like they realize real quick who the hell it is and then they'll just yeah. like, whatever you know um i had a really cool mission yesterday where me uh <clears throat> it was the black dude what's his name i think his name is uh charles or something like that he ran back right yes. into the camp and he's like micah just got arrested he got arrested in strawberry you know and he's the one he's the guy that i went to go rescue from that town and killed half the town but he was telling me, like, he's, and Dutch is like, calm down, boy, calm down, what happened? And he's like, they were going to lynch me, they were going to lynch me, and, and they're going to they're gonna hang Micah, you know, they, they say he murdered someone, they're going to hang him tomorrow morning or something, you know, we got to go rescue him. And Dutch is like, calm down, calm the hell down, you know, we'll get him out. And then kind of Dutch kind of looks at you and he's like, Arthur, you should take Charles down to Valentine and, and to the saloon and just get a drink, you know, calm him, calm, calm his nerves down. So me and this dude go down to town and, you know, we go to the bar and then he's like, just one drink, right? And Arthur's like, yeah, just one drink. Just a little quiet drink. You know, calm me down. You're going to tell me what happened and then I'll go help him. Next thing you know, dude, I'm fucking wasted walking <laughs> through the bar and like, I'm like, Charles, where are you? <laughs> or no, his name is Lenny. Lenny, where are you, Lenny? And then, like, uh, like, I'm just bumping into people. The screen is all wonky looking. And I'm <laughs> and I'm bumping into guys. And I'm walking up to ladies, like, at the bar. And I'm like, are you Lenny? And she's like, do I look like a Lenny to you? And That's the thing awesome. is, she did because she's still wearing the dress. But her face looked like Lenny's face. Like, all the people look like Lenny. Like, everyone in the bar looked like Lenny. Like, the bartender. Everyone in the bar looks like Lenny. And, you, and it says, find Lenny. And then... <laughs> And then like you you yell and like are you Lenny? And then they're like, no partner, I'm I'm whatever the hell they'll say their name. And mm -hmm. so you walk away, and then the next person, are you Lemmy? <laughs> like like you're getting you're all <laughs> slurring your words. <laughs> and then finally I found him, and he was starting to fight with some people. So and we, you know like it looked like I was about to fight them, but next thing you know everyone's dancing in the bar with us. We're all just dancing and everyone's just dancing and playing music and and then at the end of the mission. <laughs> Dutch showed up because he was looking for us. So he shows up to the bar and he's like, what the hell is going on here, Arthur? <laughs> and Arthur's like, oh, he's all slurring his words. And then and then Lenny's all like slurring his words too. And then the law shows up, like the police. They're like, hey, you, 
you need to come with us. You've been starting some trouble. And I'm like, never catch me. And I take off running, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I take off running and I'm running to the side of these buildings and I'm just bumping into all the posts and all the stuff in the in the way. I'm just like stumbling over everything. And this guy's chasing. I'm like, you'll never take me alive. And then this other dude shows up in front of me. So I take out to the right and there's a little fence there. And I'm like, trying to jump over the fence. And as I jump over the fence, I just like fall over because I'm so fucking drunk. So Arthur just kind of like falls over <laughs> all drunk and they arrest us and they take me and Lenny to jail because we were disturbing the peace or something. And it's they, Charles. And, yeah. And then they're like, you guys were disturbing the peace, you know, like the next morning he's, it shows them waking up in different cells in the jail. And then the guy's like, I'll let you go if you got $10 on you. So like Lenny pays the fine or whatever. And he's like, oh, all right. And then they let us go. And then, and then it was like a pretty cool story like that. All that thing just happened because we went to go get one drink. <laughs> like yeah. this whole mission happened where I was fucking wasted looking for this dude at the fucking bar asking all the ladies if they were Lenny. <laughs> Lenny uh, Summers. Yeah, you, Lenny? It's, just, it's just so much fun. Dude, the game, this is attention to detail. Like, for example, like when I, I busted somebody, I rescued somebody, one of our gang members from like the, the bounty men. And we go and rescue him. It was like th- with three of us. We go and we rescue him. And uh, we get, I, you know, like I tell them, I'll meet you back at camp. So when I get back to camp, it's kind of like nighttime. It's kind of like, you know, it's getting dark. And I get back into the camp. And Dutch is like, hey, Arthur, you made it on time. And I'm like, for what? And he's like, we're going we're gonna to throw a party. And f- what? And he's like, yeah, we're going to throw a party. We're going to celebrate. Th- oh, this person came back. So like for that whole night. You're just partying with everybody in the camp. You know, everyone's drinking, everyone's singing songs or whatever. Like, they're all singing, like, these old-timey songs or whatever. And it's just hilarious because everyone's just singing music. Everyone's just having fun, you know. It's, it's, it's awesome. Like, just the detail in the game, it's unparalleled, man. Like, I haven't seen this much detail in a game in a very long time. And, and it's just, like, everyone has dialogue. Everyone you talk to can, can respond in different ways. Different missions can end up different ways um, because of the actions you take during the mission. Um, if you choose to not chase someone, that can haunt you later, or you can kill them, and that can haunt you now. It's up to you, you know, how you handle the situations in different moments of the game. Um, yes. So much fun, though, dude. The whole story. That's what I'm looking cool. forward to. Yeah. I'm still in Chapter Same 2. Fun. Like, I haven't gone to Chapter 3. Because, you know, Chapter 1 is the intro in the snow or whatever, like that whole tutorial area. Once that ends, that'll be like chapter two, or whatever, and then, but like now I'm on chapter two, and I don't even know how long chapter two is because I haven't. Damn, been doing it must this be long if you're like if you're 15 hours in. Yeah, like I'm. I just started too. I've been playing in, chapter and, two, and I'm just doing like side stuff, dude. Like I'm telling you, like I'm doing a side quest where I'm just someone will ask me for a favor, and next thing you know, I'm doing like 20 different things for these people, and and I don't mind it because I'm having fun with it. Um, one thing I. I kind of suggest doing this upgrading your camp. You can really help out your camp because you know you have you can donate money to your camp to help them yeah. out. Yeah, uh, Dutch makes that clear. Like everyone must contribute. Yeah. And I found the box and I put like a ring in there. I yeah, put something you can else put in stuff there. in the rings, uh, stuff stuff that you steal you can put in there. Um, so like I, I usually I'll go in t- into there and I'll put in five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Um, but like. After a while, it'll be like, hey, you got this ledger over here, and this ledger kind of shows what everybody's contributing. Like, it has a list of the names of everybody in the camp, and it'll be like, I gave a, a rotten piece of meat or something like that. And like, this guy gave us a bottle of medicine. This guy gave us $2. This guy gave us $10. And it'll have a list of how much you contribute and how much everyone else contributes. But on the, like, if you keep tabbing the pages over, um, you can upgrade your camp. You can buy like a chicken coop. Like I said, I bought a chicken coop. Um, you can upgrade your medicine um, wagon. So like now your camp has more medicine. You can upgrade your, uh, your ammunition. So now your people have more ammunition to defend the camp or whatever. Um, and then you can. So it, they have yeah. different. It must be from this gentleman. That gentleman that the, with the glasses is he? Is he the one with the ledger? Yeah, Herr Strauss, the German dude. Yes. Yes. He Okay. Well when 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 I got the ledger was after I did a mission for him. He like that's when he tells me he's like, Hey, look, we let people borrow money but they're not paying us back. 
you need to go collect these debts. So you go collect the debts, and then you come back, and you're like, well, here's the debt money. And he's like, oh, okay. But he's like, take a look at the ledger, you know? Like, I mean, you might be able to help out. And then, yeah, you look at the ledger, and you can upgrade the camp. But when you're upgrading the camp, um, just know that, like, say your camp has 200 on the bank or whatever. Like, it says bank, like, camp money, 200 and if an upgrade costs 150 you don't use your own money for that upgrade. You use the camp's money. But say okay. if it costs 150 and the camp only has $25 in there, you need to have $125 in your wallet so you can pay for the rest. You can cover the rest I see. of the upgrade. Um, so, I've, I've, like I said, I've upgraded a few things. I've upgraded the chicken coop. I've upgraded the, the food. Like, we now have vegetables in stock where, like, people can use vegetables. And we got the chicken coop, and we got, like, the medicine wagon kind of, like, fixed up a little bit. And I got the ammunition wagon fixed up a little bit. You can also upgrade your tents. So, like, but the first tent you have to upgrade is Dutch's. And that costs $250, I think, or $275. But he's already got a nice tent. But no, no, like, his tent needs to be upgraded first before anyone else's (coughs) tent gets upgraded. Mine doesn't even have walls. Yeah, before you upgrade your tent, like, if it says on the list, like, it says here, like, Upgrade your, and it says like, first on the list, Duchess, two hundred and seventy five dollars. So I did his. He is the and, boss, and he is the boss. I think that's why you do it, right? Because he is the boss. So then you upgrade his tent, and you see it get a little bit nicer. He has like a little music player in there. He's playing music, and it says your tent is next. But to upgrade your tent, it's now like another, like two hundred dollars or something like that. So like now I have to save all my money. And I haven't been able to do it because I'm I'm, con- I'm contributing to the to the whole gang. You know, I'm always giving them money. I'm always getting ten bucks here, ten bucks there, and I'm always helping the fucking homeless people, which are everywhere in the game. You know, always giving them a quarter here, a quarter there, or I'm losing, yeah, fifty or, cents, yeah, or, or I'm losing my money gambling because I'll go gambling, play poker with people, and, and do that. And um, when you're playing poker and stuff like that, like you have to physically pay the person how much you lost. If you don't pay them, they can report you to the police or they can just fight you. Uh, Because there was a guy that I ran into, this Mexican guy, and he's like, I'm the best Mexican gunslinger in the whole Wild West. He was like, I came up here from Mexico because I heard you gringos, you know, you can't shoot your guns, but watch me (laughs) shoot. And he's like shooting these bottles, right? And he like tells you, he's like, he's like, how about we do a little competition? And you can accept or you can decline. You can be like, I don't have time for this. Or you can be like, okay. And he'll be like, all right, five dollars, whoever can shoot the most bottles the fastest. So then like he ended up beating me because I didn't see one of the bottles. It was really hard to see them because he had him up on the like on these train tracks that had like like a little wooden bridge. And he had these bottles stacked up and like I couldn't see one of the bottles and I missed it. And he shot it. Cause I was sitting there and I, like I even stood there for like four or five seconds. Like I was like, why is this guy still shooting? I already broke all the bottles. And it was like, no, you missed one, Jesus. So, like, the dude beat oh. me, right? But then he was like, all right, I'll beat you fair and square. He's like, okay, but how about we double, double up? He's like, double or nothing, who can shoot the most birds out of the sky? And I was like, all right, fuck you, dude. I'll shoot the most birds out of the sky. So now it says bet $10. So I bet him $10, and we're shooting these birds out of the sky, and he beats me because they're fucking hard to shoot, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then the, the thing ends, right? And he's like... Okay, you got to pay me now. Oh, shit. And I'm standing there, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, and then I press B, because B is a negative answer, and I'm like, I ain't paying you shit. And he's like, <laughs> what, amigo? He's like, you better pay me up, gringo. He's like, well, I'm going to kill you. So like, he pulls out his rifle, and he's looking at me. So what I do is I just punch him in the face. I pull out my revolver and shoot him in the gut twice, and then I kill him. And then I take his... Fifth- Sore loser, Jesus. There That's go, what you, you are. I That's take, how you do it. I take his $15 and I take off on my horse. Fuck yeah. There you go. Uh, you now, wanted. <laughs> dead or alive. No. Nobody, saw me, nobody <laughs> saw me or heard me shoot him, so he's just dead in the middle of the woods or the desert somewhere, like, next to some train tracks. I yep. guess you can't do that mission, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. But, but when back. you kill people, when you kill people and, like, say somebody, like, Say you shoot somebody near a ranch and you wake somebody up in the ranch. It is nighttime. You shot somebody kind of outside the ranch and they heard it. They heard the gunshots. It'll say like witnesses investigating and you can sit there and kind of like hide in a bush or something or or just stand kind of there 
and you'll see the person walk up and you'll be like, what happened over here? And you see them walk up and they'll kind of look around. And if they find the dead body, they'll be like reporting crime to the police. So then they go and report the crime and you can sit there the whole fucking time or like follow these people around and, and, and the fucking police will show up to the area and they'll investigate the murder in real time. Like you just sit there and watch it and they'll show up on their horses. They'll look around and be like, all right, we think this guy got robbed or we think this is a, like something gone wrong. He must've owed people money, you know, and they're kind of sitting there investigating. And then, you know, they find out it's you, you'll get a wanted bounty on you. You know, it's just stuff like that. It's crazy, dude. How much detail is in this game? That's nuts. Yeah. Dude, I, I just want to stop podcasting right now and play the game, dude. For real. <laughs> you know, because I'm, I'm oh, like man. right in the beginning. And so, like, all this stuff you guys are talking about, I have not even experienced. And I want to experience it right now. <laughs> I want to play the game right now. Like, for real. Hype train. Choo -choo. What about this? What about this ball technology, man? This horse ball technology. I know Alyssa, um, Sean, horribly awkward girlfriend, said she didn't see any. She went to the snow, went to warmer weather, and she didn't see it. I didn't get back there in the luck. Did you see, notice that, Jesus? I, I, I can't notice it because I have a female horse. Oh, okay. So, like, I don't have a male horse. Yeah. Um, it did in the beginning... It, it did tell me in the beginning, like, oh, yeah, yeah, this will happen if you're riding through the the, the desert or, or the snow or whatever. Like, your, your fucking horse's testicles will shrink and all that. Um, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Yeah, I I'm sure there'll be a YouTube either. video out there somewhere. Um, and oh, yeah, we'll be all over it. If don't, you don't um, yeah, if you're in the in, in the southern area where like the big city is, and you can end the bayou. Um, make sure to not wear like heavy clothing because your stamina and your health will go down little by little. Like your health will decrease because you're From too the heat? hot. Yeah, if you're too oh. hot. And if you're in the snow, it'll also decrease if you don't. If you're not wearing like a winter coat, because I went up there because I had to kill somebody up there or something or go talk to somebody in the snow area, and I'm riding through the snow and and it said like you're not equipped to be riding through the snow right now. Like you're not wearing the right clothing, and your health will go down. And my health kept going down i kept eating food to stay alive and i made it to the area and i made it back but if i didn't have the food i would have died because right i didn't have and i assume you can keep coat on your horse as well yeah you can keep coat like i said you can that's a big venue to have on the horse and, and keep them on your horse <clears throat> but your horse does run out of space um i've run out of space on my horse before where it said you don't have enough space on your satchel like in your own bag on the side of your body there's all kinds of junk you carry on that horse yeah so you got to upgrade all that and, it sounds like you're leading level three backpack. Yeah, I do, definitely. <laughs> um, oh, man, I got a new shotgun. I got a pump-action shotgun. That was nice. from my, my pre-order from the Ultimate Edition or whatever the fuck I bought. Um, I went down to the gunsmith, and I was looking at his catalog, and the guns that are pre-ordered are there, and they're free. Like, it'll say $0 to buy this gun, and you can just take them, pick them up. And when you're there, you can also, like personalize your guns like at first he'll just sell you a basic ass looking revolver or, or rifle but you can engrave the rifles and you can you can customize them you can put a scope on certain guns you can engrave them you can make him like have gold on them like it has like little gold like roses or flowers on them or whatever like all that stuff it's just cosmetic but it makes your gun look really nice when you're killing people and the other thing too is Jesus was telling me to, again to do this today in that first mi one of the first missions is clean your gun. oh yeah and I I kept telling Jesus like no it doesn't it's grayed out it doesn't let me clean it but then I went around that that camp there um, where Col Colm uh, his boys were out there and I found some gun oil and so it let me clean my repeater my rifle so I think that would affect either your reloads or your aim. It affects the whole gun working in general. It, it it also decreased the damage it does and stuff like that. Because like one one like one time I I found a shotgun. I said you found a shotgun. Congratulations, but this shotgun is shit because it's not clean. You got to maintain it. So I pulled out my rag. I kind of wiped it down, cleaned it up a little bit, and I said, okay, you restored the gun. It's fine now. Like it'll be better than it was before. Like it'll do way more damage. It'll do shoot better, reload better. Um. But you gotta do. You gotta take care of your gun and your horse. Your horse will 
or decrease in stamina if you don't clean it, if you don't feed it, if you don't pet it, <laughs> it'll like not trust you as much, and it'll decrease in stamina and all that. Um, See, I need. I can't wait to get back to my base to get to my horse because right now, like I said, I'm in Valentine. Um, you go to train over there. Yeah, and so the when you we talked mission that I did where I saved the guy, mm-hmm. you basically get on a horse that the game wants you to be on. Uh, and I returned it to the owner. You get extra points. And it doesn't tell you where that owner is. You do have to remember some of the things that I found in this game. I'm riding around, it was dark, right? And then mm-hmm. I heard the guy going, hey, mister, isn't that my horse? Right? You found it. And I'm like, yeah, here you go. <laughs> I found it. It was just wandering around. <laughs> Here's your horse back. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I found the horse. I didn't take it or nothing. Yeah, I just, um, nope. I just randomly was walking by. Yeah. Lots of might cool need it. In this game, man. Lots of cool, lots of cool people. Lots of interesting characters to meet. Um, what, what do you think about um, Hosea? Jose? Hosea. Hosea is a cool guy. I like him. He seems to be like the most uh, kind of like level-headed person of the game. You know, yeah, he kind of yeah. has knowledge or whatever, like of stuff in the past. He's obviously been in the gang forever. Um, older gentleman. Older gentleman. Yeah, he's been there forever, and like. Even one time, like I was riding with him after a mission, and, and Arthur <clears> kind of asked him, or it wasn't Arthur, it was like the new kid in the gang, and he's like, "Hey, Jose, have you ever thought about leaving the life?" You know, and he's like, "Well, yeah, one time me and the wife kind of talked about it, and we kind of tried it, but then we realized that this is the only life I'll ever live." So is is he the voice yeah. of reason in this game? I mean, it, kind it's of. kind of what I'm getting from this. Yeah, I mean, everyone else is like like. John Marston, he's just like a badass gunslinger dude. Man, everybody loves him because Dutch likes him. Um, Micah's John's crazy. over there all messed up and just like, yeah, yeah. let's go, let's go, do do it right. And they're like, uh, yeah, look at you, yeah, you're, you're like a piece of shit. You're all fucked up. But you're all funny. messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Later in the game, I was in the camp, and and John was walking around, and so like Arthur's like, how you doing? How you feeling there, John? And he's like, well, I'm feeling much better, stronger now. He's like, yeah, not strong enough to do any work around here. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, oh shit. I was fucking laughing when he said that. The like, Arthur is just talking shit to everyone. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and there's Javier, the Mexican dude. And when we were having that party, like I said, there was a party that we had at the gang hideout. Um, like Javier was singing like a Spanish song. Like I walked up to him and he was all drunk and I was drunk. And I sat there watching him for a second, and he sang a whole song in Spanish, like he was playing his guitar. Wow, that's he cool. He was singing to like the the black girl, I forget her name, but he was singing to her in Spanish. She was like, "Oh, something about some kind of love song about him going to prison, and don't tell my love I'm in prison." You know, like he was singing this song in Spanish, and it was cool because I could understand it. But if you don't understand Spanish, don't worry because they translate the whole song in subtitles for you. <laughs> yeah, I chose subtitles for story missions. That's what I did too. Yeah. Yeah, and so there's that, and then and then I went over to like the main fire, the campfire area, and then there Javier walked over again, and then he played his guitar there, and then we all sang a different song there. Everyone was having just fun, man. It's just kind of a crazy game. So much to do there, and so much to unpack. The map is huge. You don't realize, like at first you kind of like zoom out and and kind of like realize like you think like oh this is kind of like a big area, but not that big, you know. But when you're riding places, it'll take 20 minutes to get somewhere sometimes. Yeah, that's the thing where I was like, okay, we're going to be there like any second. Like, you know, like what does it have me travel real time here? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I like riding with uh, with the posse, like when you're with your gang and going to do a mission. What I hate is you ride there with them, and then a lot of times you get the choice to like ride back by yourself. And I do that a lot. But I'm thinking I'm not going to I'm not going to do that anymore. Because it, it's kind of boring writing back myself. I, it takes forever because you're not you have no one to talk to, no one to bullshit with. <laughs> when yeah. you're writing with them, you have someone to talk to. You know, it makes the ride so much faster because you're talking to somebody the whole time. Um, writing back by yourself is just slow. <laughs> Very slow. Yeah. But anyways, guys, this is a cowboy simulation. Don't get it wrong. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, partner. Yeehaw. Giddy up. I'll take it for what it is. I like it, though. I'm having lots of fun. I can't wait to get talk more about like the actual story missions and all that stuff in a couple mm-hmm. weeks here. When more people have played the game, 
Um, but yeah, it's fun. I can't. I can't wait to play more after the podcast. Do it. Me. I'm gonna stay up all night tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go into a quick break and come back with the news right after this break. We'll be back. We'll be right back. Some news, ladies and gentlemen. News time. News machine is booting up. Pokemon Go. We'll now have you collecting Catholic saints. Yes. That's right. What? There's a new wait. mobile game commissioned by the Vatican called OJC Go. It is an augmented reality title. Which is pretty much like identical to Pokemon Go. If you look at it, I mean, it's a lot like Pokemon Go. You walk through the streets, and uh, you're collecting saints and yep. blessed characters from the Bible. So there you go, guys. This is my jam right here, man. Did you play it? This. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna catch Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna whoa. catch him. Is, is, is so this is the Christian character? version. Follow G J Go. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well. So is, this is not Pokemon Go. I mean, it's just the Christian version of it made by another company. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. So you Amen to that. This is going to be uh, number one store in Google Play pretty soon. Hallelujah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, lots of people are going to be playing it, I bet. But, yeah, I mean, if you're interested in that, go and download it, I guess. It'll not- I download it. I'm going to catch a bunch of saints. One of the most sin in the world. I don't know what that meant. Mm. Yeah, I was just thinking if there's an adult bookstore and like that would be my excuse. You know? I like, found oh. Saint I found Saint Paul at the porno store. Yeah. But I was there to catch like Saint John and I wasn't reading any books really. Someone said Jesus was over there at the porno <laughs> store. So that's why I went over. There. Then he was gone mm. in a blink of an eye. Damn. Damn. I'm just kidding. In other I news, need to repent. Alan Wake is back. Yeah, what? I saw that on Twitter. That's right. A few months ago, Alan Wake went off the store marketplace and all the storefronts because of um, music licensing rights have expired. Apparently, Microsoft has renewed that deal with those studios to bring their game back. Or whatever they they renewed them the licensed music. And right now, uh, Alan Wake is back on the Steam store. And it's discounted because of Halloween. It's back on Steam and GOG, Mm -hmm. but not on Xbox yet. Coming soon. Uh, Maybe soon, yeah. Hopefully. I mean, we'll see. Think they'll get a backwards compatible or a a remaster? I... Mm, Maybe. 
I'm thinking a remaster. I'm thinking that was the deal where they, it was only certain songs, right, that were like where the license expired, and then they've now that they've got them back. I think mm-hmm. that's that was the whole point. Otherwise, why would they, you know, because I would think they have to spend money to do that money. So I can definitely see a remake, and it's already backwards compatible, right? Or it was is yeah. currently. Um, yeah, but uh, there's that, and let's see here. More news and other news. <clears throat> uh, Microsoft CEO said Game Pass will plan to extend to PC. Oh, I just, I just, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, what is it? It doesn't really say. Because I think it was an, I think it's an app on Windows 10. I remember that when Sea of Thieves came out. It says here that it's going to be integrated with Windows 10 Store, Microsoft Store. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess. Does I that? Guess. Oh, so maybe they're talking about. I'm just reading the article, but it doesn't talk about any more games coming to Windows 10. If not, I mean, it's not going to be. You know, because we've got the over 100 games on Xbox, but there's not that many on. To the on comments, PC. to the comments on here, one says, "But I've been playing State of Decay 2 on PC with Game Pass this whole time." Yeah, and the article doesn't even. I think it's just more PR stuff from Sedella, yeah. right? Because it doesn't. Yeah, marketing stuff. It doesn't give a list or of any games, or that there will be more PC games. Hmm. Yeah, because it says here, with the storefront lacking authority in PC gaming, it's unclear what value can be expected beyond consoles, right? Until they actually announce games on freaking Windows 10. But again, that to me, my opinion, that store is a mess, Jesus, if you've ever been on it. Oh, I've heard stories, yeah. Yeah, it's just mobile stuff. In other news, uh, Sega's Naoki Hori stated that the Nintendo Switch was close to successfully running Dreamcast titles via emulation. Maybe that... You know, this might happen, guys. You might get Dreamcast games on the Nintendo Switch. <sighs> Maybe. Did any of you... You two have a Switch, don't you? Or did you get yes. rid of yours, Jesus? I got rid of mine. <laughs> I still have mine. You got rid of that quick. Yeah. Mine's still I, over here. I, I thought about getting a Switch I played the for classic. just Diablo 3, specifically. Why, why would you do that? You can get Diablo 3 on consoles do, so many... I don't every, know. Everywhere. I don't. I don't know, Jesus. Do I really this don't. Is stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> you know what I've been doing, Eric? <laughs> uh, you know what I pick That's it up so and I start playing stupid, Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. It's an old game. Yeah. Or Excite Bike. Yeah. Then I'll put it back down after yeah. ten minutes. All right. Let me play some more Donkey Kong again. I don't think I'll ever get a Switch though. Even if they put Gears of War on there, I don't think I'd ever get a Switch. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot of like for me, I see a lot of games from. They're also on Steam, so I'm like, wait, why would I not want to buy them on Steam? Mm-hmm. So, which some I already do own. So basically, you and then one might think, well, why doesn't Steam have like a mobile device? There it is. It's called the Switch, right there. There's the Switch. Buy it. Hey. Yep. If you want those indie games. And other That's news. Cool, other news. Let's move on here, guys. <clears throat> a man serving a life sentence in the death of his estranged wife led authorities to where he buried her body in Michigan eight years ago in exchange for an Xbox. <laughs> Apparently he wanted access to play the Xbox video game console in the prison. And the authorities Whoa. said, okay, you want an Xbox? Give us where your wife is at. Where did you bury her? Where's the body? So he took him right to the body in exchange for this. Without knowing, prison already had plans for making Xboxes available to prisoners. <laughs> so oh. he thinks he got a deal, but I they kind of not like funny that she's dead, him. but yeah. Um, but yeah, they said that. Uh, yeah, they said for the last eight years, they've been visiting him every year, trying to ask him where he buried the body and where is it at? Where's the body? And he wouldn't give it up. He wouldn't tell him. Um, but now he told them in exchange for his Xbox permission to play it. Um, reading into a little bit more, 
The Xboxes were a plan of the prison to keep inmates uh, entertained, I guess, or more calm. Uh, they get this to, I think there's three different Xboxes they set up, and 30 minutes a day. That's what they get to play on it. It's unclear. That's not a lot of time, but it's kind of I don't think they should have Xboxes, a, but it's not Xbox there to entertain them. Or Xbox. The OG Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess that happened. It's kind of fucking weird, but... It's, yeah, and assuming this story is true, it's in the Time article, and what he did to his wife and his children is just unbelievable. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. No, this is not good. Kind of weird that it's in, it was in Michigan. Yeah, it happened in Michigan eight years ago. Right? Yeah. Eight years ago. I, didn't, I didn't even hear about this it. Is, I don't think. Um, yeah, he did some horrible shit, killed his whole family. Yeah, he did. And raped his daughter. <clears throat> Fuck. Horrible, dude. In other news, uh, let's get into some Sick. more lighthearted news here, guys. Red Dead Redemption 2 may finally be Xbox's One X's moment to shine. According to Digital Foundry, the Xbox One X runs the game at a native 4K resolution at 30 frames a second, while the PS4 Pro runs it at 1440p. Uh, 30 frames a second, and PS4 1080p with 30 frames a second, and the Xbox One original and Xbox One S. I believe that was like at 865p uh, with 30 frames a second. Uh, all the versions run pretty good, according to them, uh, with the Xbox original being the lowest one that can run it. Um, they say they're still impressed by how it runs. But that this is pretty much like the game to play on the Xbox One X. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm running it in 4K HDR mm-hmm. on my OLED. Yeah, same here. So Sony OLED TV. I mean, it looks great. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a 4K TV, but the new TV I just got it. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. And it's just a 1080, 1080p. Well, that's all. That's it, man. We should 4K, man. It was a free TV, bro. I'm not oh, gonna. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's that. So, I mean, I think that's all I have for news this week, guys. Honestly, like the news machine put four articles in here. Slow news day. What's going on at Johnny Donter? J H O N N Y D O N T. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Besides that, I mean, other news is Red Dead Redemption getting 10 out of 10s everywhere. What was up with the uh, the deal with Metacritic? I, I don't normally visit that site, but people were putting it on on Twitter and Facebook saying, oh, there were, like, more users on the PS4, and they gave it a lower score than Xbox users. Really? Yeah, so I think it, I think it was just some salt from PS4 users. From I don't know if it was from regular or pro members, basically saying, giving it that lower score because of graphics. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm looking at Metacritic right now, and it's 100, 100, 100, 198. Whoa, Slant Magazine gave it a 70. What? Whoa. That's crazy, uh, bro. But it Too is much sitting, violence. Sitting very high on Metacritic with a, a meta score of ninety-seven. That's crazy. my um my wife's boss. Her son actually worked on on this game. Did he? On Red? Yeah, yeah. She she was telling everyone at her office about it because she had to kind of keep everything quiet. Um, but yeah, she's but she was gloating about it. I was like, what? I can imagine how... I, think, I thought that was pretty cool. You know how there's all these smaller studios that we've never heard of? You know, and they're placed around the country yeah. that help other... You know, that contribute. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, you can probably see them in the credits. Just amazing to see how how many studios help out with, this, with lighting, with animations, and all these other things going on. And I'm just curious, like, how many Rockstar used... Just how many other people 
work on this game when they. When oh, they I say, think is. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just them. If that does Rockstar just kind of just keep everything under wraps and just under one umbrella, or do, or are they just like other companies? You know. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. It's people nuts. Xbox gave it a lower score than people on PS4, Gunny. Xbox One users gave a meta score altogether of seven or six point six, and PS4 Metacritic score for users it's a seven point eight. What I thought it was opposite. The Twitter thing I was reading was just doctored up or something. All these people are saying but, it's boring, guys. It's too slow. It's boring in the beginning. But then I thought, okay, well there is a bigger PS4 unit, so more obviously more copies are going to be sold on that unit, that console. I gotta say that the the game is very slow in the beginning. Like I said, I fell asleep the first day playing it. <laughs> but it's not saying it's a bad game. It's just once it opens up, it just if that tutorial wasn't there in the beginning, you wouldn't know what the hell to do. You wouldn't. Yeah. Just, you absolutely Dude, this you is, would be lost. This is a game you do not want to put down for like three days and then hop back into it because yeah, you no, will forget you the forget controls. Everything. Yeah. The controls, yeah. The... Totally different. I and feel Rockstar... like it's different. They, I, th- I think they did that on purpose, so you can walk up to your horse and press B instead of Y. They want to see you get kicked in the face. See? Huh? This is what happens when you put it down for two or three days, you asshole. <laughs> I mean, I've, I, I've done so much, so many things in the game, and the game still, like, is constantly teaching me stuff about, like, different things that I can do. Um, it's just everything's constantly always changing, so... Mm-hmm. I mean, it's obviously a game you don't want to put down and then come back later after you played it, like Call of Duty for a week, and then come back to it. You're gonna be like, "What the right. hell? What the hell?" Or go I from do? go Question? from uh, Assassin's Creed to that, because then you'll be trying to hit oh, RB. Oh right! <laughs> if I play Assassin's Creed a little bit tomorrow, I'm gonna be all messed up. Hey, question for you, Jesus. Um, if you press the what is it? I call it the select button, not the hamburger button on yeah, the yeah. Xbox yeah, yeah, One yeah, controller, it brings you to that first person mode. Mm-hmm. And then you also have an option of three different camera views um, from the behind the, you know, right shoulder, what have you. Mm-hmm. I've been using the first person view, like if I walk into like the general store or saloon. What about you? I haven't used first person at all, really. I've used it, I think, a couple times, maybe like just mess around, see what it looks like. And it's completely makes it just changes everything when you switch over you see nothing i if you don't put your hands up or equip a weapon you you just see the entire game you don't see a hud or anything yeah nothing is there like like i was playing it and yeah i was riding a horse and like i was riding behind this dude and like i was in third person then i switch over to that and like all you see is your horse's head kind of and a little bit of the person you're like what the fuck like how are you supposed to ride a horse this way (laughs) <laughs> they're, they're getting you ready for VR. Yeah, it, it it would almost seem like the game. That's what I said. That's what I told Jesus this might morning. Be, might be a good VR experience. I think maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just testing it out for uh, GTA Six. Well, they did it in GTA Five. Nope. GTA Five had that first person mode too. I right? think that yeah, they put that in like. No, I'm talking about what, the six VR months later, like a VR mode. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I remember they added that in to GTA 5. But GTA 5, yeah, that thing got it after it came out on the Xbox One and PS4, and that was kind of tricky, like driving in a car and all of a sudden you're in first person. It was kind of weird. Yeah, it's um, like playing Forza in that first yeah, person view. Yeah, kind of is. Like, how do you race in that? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but besides that, man, like, I haven't play anything else and right now i want to get the show done so i could play some more red dead yeah hurry up man what else we got yeah. done, that's all i have for news honestly like that's, that's it yeah just <laughs> there's no more news man like that's we have, I, we have questions so you guys like, we have a, uh, a few questions all right statements. Partners. community questions let's go into questions community questions you can always leave questions in our group or our discord which both links are in our show notes so go join them anyways get into some questions gonna go it's time for community questions. I'm just looking on the Discord, but I'll do the Facebook ones first. First one is from Jonathan Hall Pinpoint Red. Mm-hmm. He said, he says, what's up with all these holiday gaming events? What's been your favorite? What's been lame as fuck? 
Holiday gaming events. What does he mean? Uh, like, does he mean like like in in um? Well, I know like Gears they or whatever it has like the Halloween theme. Yeah, or Gears of oh, War yeah. does the same thing. They they um they put pumpkin heads on the characters instead of their instead of the normal faces, so they're oh, like in large pumpkin that. heads. And I think I, uh, I don't I don't I don't like them that much. I think. Now, yeah. if Red Dead did some, I think that would be pretty cool. If like they Red do, Dead did like a theme, they do do that sometimes though. Like on the online for GTA Five during winter time, right. oh, Christmas know. lights and all that, right? Yeah, some like Christmas too. lights or something. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Yeah, and just harkening back to uh, Borderlands Two, that Hall- Halloween DLC was pretty sick with all the pumpkins and shit, and the enemies were. I think it's just, all right. I mean, I don't so mind games. I've seen. Yeah. In a game. Why, why would I mind it? I mean, it's just a. Uh, theme yeah you know I, mean? I don't really care. i don't mind it either I don't care. I mean, yeah if you want to make a valentine's theme you make a valentine's theme if you want to make a halloween theme you make one if you want to make a you know like a easter theme make an easter theme who cares uh yeah fallout shelter i haven't played that in a long time they did mark from X- this xbox life uh said he's been playing it with the halloween theme yeah um yeah, I just, got that, I, I just got that on my shelter too. Because you have to upgrade, you have to have three rooms connected, and you have to have them upgraded all the way to have the themes in your rooms. Like, so I just upgraded my my biggest diner in the shelter, and I got the Halloween theme or whatever. Okay, it's not naturally no, you have download to, it, and get it. You okay. have to like completely upgrade your rooms, and then they get themes. But they have to be three rooms that are connected. You can't just have like a two slot room. That just a, it won't have a theme. So for the best <clears throat> faithful, faithful players, absolutely, that's good. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything recently that I've played with holiday themes. Yeah, me either. Um, no. Next question, Ricky Alfaris. Oh, <laughs> he he just was a comment. Sorry, too busy playing Red Egg. Can't ask a question. Come on, Ricky. Damn. Um, anyway, he does have a question. He says, hello, HGP. Do you have any plans for a holiday show like you did before? Awesome. What do we do for a holiday show? Game of the Year show? Uh, we've done Game of the Years. Last year, me and IAMS got together because no one could do it. So me and We do the ho- together, Thanksgiving. And, and we, uh, me and him just told stories, I think. Or we just read questions or something. Uh, this year, and we did Thanksgiving, too. This year, we might do something for Thanksgiving. I think for Christmas, we might just do the same thing. We could just ask us questions, and we'll just answer all of them for the whole show. Um, for Thanksgiving, I don't know what you guys want to do. What do you guys want to do? For Halloween, what do you guys want to do? Halloween Wednesday? You do it I think next week? This would have to be our, our Halloween I, show. This isn't our Halloween show. Our, I, unfortunately, I'll... How dare I, you? Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been on two of those. Uh, shout out to Sean from... Hardcore. We we do the holiday show on Thanksgiving, and I think um I will be out of town this year. <gasps> uh, well, sorry. Same. It's a yeah, family oh thing. My. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Kind of I got is family, this? dude. Who cares? What Who time? Cares? If we do it at night, then I'll be okay. But during we want during. No, Thanksgiving I think it's during dinner. the day. Thanks. During Bro, Thanksgiving I, dinner, I have I want two families. You here, I gotta go to here during right, Thanksgiving and, dinner. And you can talk to my wife. We'll talk in the to afternoon. Her too. No, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. It's per- he usually does it about four o'clock. So right, Sean? Yeah, that's four PM California time. time. What time are you done with dinner, Eric? What time are you done with Thanksgiving well, dinner? One, we're going to my parents for dinner and then we gotta go drive an hour down south um, near the Michigan Indiana border. <gasps> to her grandmother's oh, for dessert and then she wants to stay wait, there. Wait, you're driving an hour for dessert? Who the fuck does this? We got to do both families, dude. I'm married. I got to do the, both. I got to do my family and got to dessert to her family. That's what we're going to do. How does that feel when you go over there and go, can't eat any of your food? Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Just, stop asking. I hate it, I'm dude. Just here I, for the, I don't want none of your food. I already ate a bunch. I, I hate splitting it up. Especially, I mean, for Christmas, it's easier because her family does Christmas on 
Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah. And then my parents Christmas are Christmas Day. Day. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's easier. But Thanksgiving, dude, it sucks. I'm so I'm wiped out every you know that driving. It's stupid. I <laughs> I hate it. Why don't you invite your parents to go over to their house and they all cook together? Is that you just all too just awkward? get together in one house. Um my parents aren't very social people. My dad is uh, very he doesn't like people. My mom doesn't talk to anybody she doesn't know, so it wouldn't really. It'd be it totally be awkward. Good. It would be yeah. very awkward, and her family would probably think my parents are a bunch of dicks. But, and then my parents would probably get annoyed with her family, so it just wouldn't be good. It's like her family all outgoing and shit. All oh, it's just super cheery and. <clears throat> no, yeah, they they get that way. I mean, because they'll <clears throat> and there's kids too. So there's two newborn babies, and with my dad having severe PTSD, mm-hmm. he can't handle screaming. He can't handle a lot of loud noises. So a mashup of families for Thanksgiving it wouldn't yeah. be a good idea. Mm, okay, but well, back. Back to Ricky's question. I think we do need to get, do something for a holiday like Christmas, you know, around that I time. Me and I'm a record a Christmas show on Christmas Day, answering all your Christmassy questions, guys. Yeah. Yeah, That's buddy. Nice. Sounds good to me. Maybe if I'm just available. He might not be available, man. He has a girlfriend now, and he's always a busy man and all that good stuff. But anyways, next question. Next one. Andrew, News Machine. Question is: Is it possible to make sustainable? Is it possible to make a sustainable career from playing Red Dead professionally? No. 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 Hey, how long? Okay, I think here's the question, Andrew: Is how long can Ninja keep the the Fortnite, uh, Fortnite going. train going? <laughs> Still playing that game? I don't even uh, know. Maybe. I don't. I don't watch him. I don't know. Is it- I see like he's got his own tent and his own entourage and like a fleet yeah. of. Uh, buses and he's doing oh he's going to be doing this the uh new year's Eve celebration in new york city so you can watch him for like 20 hours just playing games and talking bullshit and i guess i mean i don't know uh but as far as a career no i mean um no i think it's six There's months no, out the of reason it. fortnite made that possible for lots of streamers is because Fortnite's a very unpredictable game. Like, every game is different. Like, even though the game is the same game, it, things can happen so much differently in every match that you don't, you can't predict that. Um, but I think Red Dead 2, like, I think it's like a... I don't want to compare it to a Witcher 3, but I think it is like, hey, it's new, it's awesome, it's sort of open world, it's... The GTA clone. You want to watch this on Twitch, you know? And you want to watch me for the next six months? Yeah, you wouldn't watch it on Twitch. You would want to play it. <laughs> yeah. Instead. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody. Especially to like that first that. five hours, I'm hearing is super slow and boring. No one's gonna want to watch that on Twitch. Yeah, there's a lot of horse riding. And then it doesn't even. It not even. It doesn't even look good on Twitch because there's so much rendering going on. Yep. So, there you go, people. There you go. No. <laughs> what happened to the days of YouTube? You can just watch them all rendered and doctored up and everything. Um, it died. YouTube. It died. YouTube. Damn it. it. Died to death, Gunny. So the answer is no. Uh, he does have another question. Uh, <laughs> I asked, how many times have you lost your hat in Red Dead Redemption 2? I just talked about that oh, I lost my time. fucking hat, man. Oh, Zero I think it was times. the second time. I, I picked Zero. it up the first time, but yeah, I, twice. I lose it all the time. I always get into fights or crashing my horse into a tree. At full speed. <laughs> That's not good, dude. Your horse will get fucked up if you crash it into a tree at full speed. Yeah, dude. And I look like an idiot. Arthur looks... I don't know. He doesn't look like Arthur without the hat. He doesn't. Yeah, you gotta have the hat. The hat makes him look way cooler. Um, but you could buy, like, hair pomade and, like, fix up your hair and make it look nice. You know what? Maybe yeah. I'll do... I'll go back get into the haircut, general store. Get a haircut. You can shave your beard off or keep it nice and grown out. Where do I get a haircut? Because um, I just um, noticed I can shave the beard the and barbers. the mustache. At the barber, you go into towns and you can talk right. to the barber. They're usually at a bar. It's kind of weird. But they're usually inside a bar and they're like, hey, I'll cut your hair, partner. And you can sit down. And, and the way you, you can style your hair, uh, but the only styles you have available are the styles that your hair can do. Like, if it's long, you can only do certain styles and you can only do so many things. 
if you cut it shorter, you can do different things with it. So like, no Jerry curls for my guy, huh? No, you can't. It's not anything crazy. It's a lot of the hairstyles are like styles that you would see back in those days. You know what I mean? Like parted to the side, maybe or. Yeah. But you can like put gel in it or, or pomade. It's called pomade. You put some of that in there, make it look nice and slick, or you could just have it all natural looking. Like right now, I have Arthur, and he has like longer hair. Yes, and that's it. That's the way he is right now. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't cut his hair yet. I haven't, I haven't been hair. to the barber. I like shaved his whole beard off once, um, and then I'm just letting it grow out now. Fuck it, I don't care. Grow out, grow out his beard. Yeah. So I can't wait to hear also. Just to kind of add on to that when we talk about you interact with, interacting with these other players or, or the uh, characters in the game and just how it affects that conversation. Um, <clears throat> next question, Brian. Wait, Brian did have another question. Brian Tolp Jr. He wants to know why you killed HGP Knight. Was that a new question? I wasn't sure. Um, we asked that already, didn't well, we? I didn't, I didn't kill HGP Knight. It's just people Odyssey, stopped showing up, man. Like, like, how do you want me to continue playing the game by myself when no one shows up ever? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if people showed up constantly, I would always do it. But people don't show up. And then now we've changed the time we record the show. And obviously yeah. right now, HGP Night would start in an hour. I don't, I can't edit the show in an hour, man. Like, I have to edit the show and upload it and all that. That'll take me two or three hours sometimes. If not yeah, more, I think- you know, like. It's just can't. I think I was, and I'm, and I'm too old. I think we were talking last week. I was like, my eyes were closing, and we were just. It was like ten o'clock at night, and Gunny, Gunny doesn't even show up to HGP night. So what the hell? Fuck. Yeah, we can blow him up with invites yeah, all the time, Gunny. Send Every messages. Time. I'm over there sawing logs, inviting you, and you don't ever show up ever. So like, what the hell? I'm an old guy. I get up early in the morning. I'm up at five. And where is everybody? You just never show up. Damn. All right, Never Brian told up. he wants to know last question. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Halloween, um Halloween two, it's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> I mean, I know he probably means like a scary movie, like what's your favorite scary movie? Um I like Halloween too. I also like um The Ring. The Ring, Ring Ring. I like that movie. Uh, what else do I like? What? Oh, the ring. Is that the one with the girl with the hair? Yeah, she crawls out. I, did, I didn't care for that. I mean, it was scary and shit, but it, then it just got boring, I thought. What's a good scary movie? I don't know, man. I don't know. Man, I thought Halloween... I think Halloween 2 was great. Halloween 2 is cool because it's in the hospital, and it's always kind of creeped me out about hospitals at night, you know? It's really creepy at night in a hospital, man, because everything's kind of quiet. There's not that many nurses around. But it's never like... In the Halloween movie where there's only 10 people working. <laughs> the hospitals yeah. are full of people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But, Mine's, uh, I like to watch uh, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh, okay. See, we're thinking scary, Eric. You just killed it. I don't yeah. watch scary movies, dude. I don't, really? I don't, I don't, I don't watch them anymore either. I don't watch either. them, dude. Why? Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm not... A, I'm, I'm a freak me out. I'm scared of the dark. I'm not ashamed to say that. Dark? I am. I, I don't in, like being in. I don't. I don't like being in the dark for too long. Like if you're at your house at night and you're playing it's games, creaking. you don't turn off the lights and just walk to the dark. Um. No. I. I turn on a light, and each time I walk into a room, if I have to go upstairs, I'll just oh. turn the light on, walk upstairs, and then like <laughs> get a. Do you runners. have a fear that, that the power company is going to, or like no, somebody will talk over a power that's, line? That's a, not my fear. You get a runner start, you run I down I get a runner hallway. start, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I jump in my head. Let's see. <laughs> nightlight, do you have a nightlight? I bet you have a nightlight. I don't have a, I don't have a nightlight. <laughs> mm. But no, I mean, I don't. A Snoopy nightlight, all right. I just, I've never, I've never liked scary movies. They just don't sit well with me. Mm-hmm. So. That's I'm probably gonna get made fun of now, but YOLO. I don't care. I'm scared of the dark. I walk to the dark all the time in my house. I mean, sometimes I'm tripping over my cat and shit because he'll be laying like right in front of like. And he'll be, right. He likes to lay on the staircase, like in the between the steps. There's almost been a few times where I stepped on him. I have to walk <laughs> really carefully down the stairs when it's dark, um, because he'll lay there and then he won't move. He'll just look at me and he won't move. He'll just lay there on the fucking 
step. like, bro, I'm laying here. Yeah, and so I'm like, dude, I don't step on you. One time, I almost fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time where I woke up in the middle of the night. Um, and I had to go to the bathroom. Well, I, it was dark. I couldn't really see, but I could see like the outline of my door. Well, I thought it was actually the closet door, and then I, I walked right into the wall, smacked my head right on the wall, and I go, oh, and my wife wakes up. She's like, what happened? I'm like, I ran into the wall. Because <laughs> you got runner's start, right? So you, you, got run, you ran into the closet and hit it. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> oh, no I was just kind of, I was searching for the, the wall so I could kind of feel my way through the hallway to turn the light on. And I just walked right into the wall. <laughs> my, my head just like smack. Into the it was fucking crazy. enough to wake my wife up. It was um, a funny moment. But nah, I mean, the dark is cool. I like the dark. The dark. Da, da, da. The dark um, da, da. Cool. Mm. I uh, had to pick the Sinister. Sinister would be my, my scary movie. I did see that one time and liked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was saying the number one movie was uh, the original Halloween from 78. Yeah, that movie's good. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. That movie's good too. I (laughs) do. I can't. Christmas. I can't. Anybody gonna see the new one? It freaks me out, man. It just—it's weird. Nightmare Before Christmas freaks you out. That movie. That movie when I was younger gave me nightmares, bro. Really? Is that the one with Johnny Depp? No, that's it's not. That's the one with like. How did that give you nightmares? It. I was. When did that movie come out? I was born in 89. Uh-huh. I, I had to be super young when that movie came. Yeah, so I was four years old. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I couldn't. Mm-mm. I loved that and movie it, as a kid, man. I fucking loved it. <laughs> so which one was The Night Before night before Christmas? Which one was it? That's the one with the little Jack pumpkin head or whatever. Skeleton dude? Yeah. Is, Wes yeah. Craven, right? Timber. I think it is. Yeah, God, I get those two guys confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I never saw that, Jesus. I never saw that You've movie. I've never seen Nightmare it... Before Christmas. Probably going. I've seen the trailers a few times, but uh, for some reason, I just never... Yeah, like, it, I never see it come on TV. Seen this movie. It's like the most popular Halloween... One of the most popular Halloween movies, I would say. It's actually... It's like one of the popular movies ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if, everyone... if it probably came on TV, I'd probably watch it, but... You'd I mean, the wife's in there it. watching uh, Wrong Turn for, the, like, the 15th time on Sci-Fi Channel or whatever mm-hmm. it is. But, I, don't, I wouldn't think it would come on the Sci-Fi Channel. It would come, like, on a kid's channel or something. It's like a kid's I, movie. Yeah. Freeform TV. Yeah, it's like a little kid's Freeform movie channel. or something. I'll have to check uh, whatever you call it, the Comcast. Jack, um, Jack helps Santa Claus. Yeah. And But instead of sending gifts, he sends out, like, scary toys for the kids or something. Yeah, because <laughs> he wants to bring Halloween to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Nightmare Before Christmas. Dee, dee, dee. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The cast we do on that, but I know it was like an animation. Yeah. Yep. Danny Elfman. Yeah. So people, I just don't recognize. I don't. I can't. I can't watch Tim Burton's animated movies, dude. Why? They creep me out. They just creep me out. They're just weird. It was the last one. Oh, uh, I want to say it was that. No, it wasn't that Johnny Depp one. I can't remember. What's the one with the dog? Who made that one? The one with the dog. And he lives in the dump. And the little boy plays with him and saves him or some shit. I don't it's know. Familiar. Came out last year or this year. This year, I think. Uh. I'm looking at his movie now. Yeah. Anyways, that's the movie I like. Halloween 2. Michael yes. Michael in the hospital. And he kills everybody. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Michael Myers is so iconic for like, you know, like a... Uh, he scares the shit out of me. I just think if I ever saw him like in a dark alley or... You'd fucking standing in my living room. Out, dude. Yeah, like standing in... Imagine like walking out, going to work one morning in the dark, and that fucker standing right there in the wall, oh, just looking man, at I'd, you. I piss myself. No, <laughs> it's like, oh no, fuck this! I ain't going to work today. <laughs> right? 
Yeah. <laughs> that was funny because I saw a video of like, uh, there was like a haunted house somebody set up. I don't know where the hell it was at, but they had all these little kids walking in there. And like the first thing they saw when they walked in there was Michael Myers would stand oh, up. No. And he would like stand there and look at them. And then he'd walk towards them and grab them by the neck kind of and like lead them over and have a picture taken with him. And so I showed like all the reactions of these different little kids. And like the f- like first little boy was kind of like, whatever. And he took a picture with him. The second boy, he was kind of like freaked out by him. <laughs> he took a picture with him, but he was kind of like scared from him. And then like like one little girl gave him a hug. <laughs> she was like <laughs> hugging him and they took a picture. And then like this other little girl walks in there. And then she looks at him and she's like, nope, nope, not not today. She just turns around and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking dying when she said that because she's like, uh, nope, not today. And she just turns around and walks out. <laughs> it's fucking funny, dude. It's fucking the best. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Anyways, guys. That's all I have for today's show. You can follow me on Xbox Live, Gamertag Jesus Walks Lot. On Twitter, I'm Jesus Walks Lot. On uh, everything, I'm Jesus Walks a lot. Hopefully, I think. Facebook, everything. Jesus Walks a lot. And uh, join our group, Horrible Gamers Podcast community on Facebook. It's a closed group, so anything you post in the group is not visible by members outside of the group. Or I guess they're not members if they're outside of the group. By people outside of the group, they can't see stuff, so your timeline is not flooded with posts about video games or whatever the hell, unless you're part of the group. Also, follow us on Twitter at underscore Horrible Gamers. And, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. All the things are in the show notes. Discord, join that. Talk to the PC people in there. The Mustard Racers. PC Mustard Racers, yeah. Yes. And, uh, all that good stuff. We love you guys. All of you. You guys are awesome. Happy Halloween to everybody. Stay safe out there. Uh, don't get arrested. Don't TP houses and end up in jail. Don't do nothing stupid. Uh, don't drink too much. Don't drink and drive. All that good stuff. You know what you do. Drink, don't drive, get a friend. That's right. Uber it. Uber that shit. Uber that shit or just don't fucking drive. Just don't be stupid. Pass out of your friend's house. Just walk home. If they're your friends, don't you pass out at their house because you don't want to drink and drive. Just letting you know that. I've done that plenty of times with my friends. I drank, got fucking wasted, and I'm like, I ain't going home, dude. I'm passing out on your couch. And I pass out on their couch. What the fuck are they going to do? And you wake up, you're like, where the hell am I? <laughs> what the hell are they going to do? They can't. The right. they, they're going to drag you out and put you on the porch. I mean, what the fuck is the worst they could do to you? <laughs> There's my right, right. standing there over you. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you pass out on somebody's couch, what's the worst they're going to do to you? Hangover cured. Put a fucking blanket over you, or they're going to drag you outside and throw you on the porch. I mean, that's the two options they could have. You'd I mean, wake up in a, and I would say a about casket 80- with a light. With an 80% chance, it's going to be they're going to put a blanket over you and just let you sleep until you wake up. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> so, you had a 20% chance of ending up on the porch. Uh, unless you have really dick friends, I guess. Or they're just assholes and they don't like you. They're not your friends. Don't walk home because the police will still get you. Yeah, the police you will get drunk you. drunk in public. Public intoxication. So, don't do that either. Just Uber it or ask for a ride from somebody else. Sleep in your car. That's a, no, no. Don't no, no don't car. do that. No, because Why? if police pull up and you're sleeping in your car and you're drunk, they could still arrest you for DUI. Yeah. Yeah, that's possible. They can trick you and arrest you for DUI. They'll get you to say something stupid or, you know, were you driving? Well, no, I wasn't driving. Well, what are you doing? Part of your, then you'll say something that you didn't mean to say and they'll use that against you and they'll t- throw your ass in jail. So don't be mm. dumb. Don't be dumb. Don't, don't sleep in your car. It's a bad idea. Bad advice, Eric. Bad advice. Never said I give good advice. If you're at the bar, sleep outside the bar, away from your car. <laughs> yeah, in a bush sleep somewhere. Sleep in the booth at the bar. <laughs> just pass out. I'm just giving people advice here. Just pass yeah, just out. Go to the restroom and just, just pass just out. Just actually bar. at the bar. Just kind of push every glass off of the bar table. And just sleep and on. Just it. sleep on the bar. What the fuck there are they going to do? Are they going to call the cops on what you? Gonna, what are they going to do? Yeah. Yeah. Worst hey, sir, thing to do is down. call the cops. Worst thing the yeah. cops are going to do is drag you outside or something. <laughs> take you to jail. <laughs> this has been bad advice from Eric on Horrible <laughs> Gamers Podcast. Uh, anyways, guys, that's all I have. Where can we find you, Gunny? Find me on Xbox Live and on Steam under Gamertag, Gunny Chief. Gunny. Same on, I have a Twitter as well. Gunny Chief. Gunny Chief. What about you, Eric? Where do we find you? 
Twitter, Epic Er, yeah, that's my name, Epic Erk. Uh, Xbox, St. Nicholas, and soon it will be on PlayStation, but right, as of right now, it is just Epic Erk. Did you get into the beta, or is that something you have to sign up for? Is it Does that show up on the console? Um, I think you you have to be part of their like program thing, um, like an insider. In like order Xbox to do insider? that, yeah, yeah. yep, okay. yeah. So I may I may switch it, but there's kind of like repercussions if you change your name. So, but yeah, you won't be the the cooter invader, whatever anymore. Uh, what was it? Cooter intruder. Cooter Co- intruder. Cooter intruder. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a it. horrible name. Cooter intruder. That's a, f- yeah. <clears throat> also, just a quick tip, quick warning for people that are playing Red Dead. Skinning animals is brutal. Holy fuck. I haven't skinned any yet. Oh my god, dude. I skinned a bear the other day. I, I, it, it's like gory as fuck i can't wait they went like beyond what they needed to do to like make sure you get the point that this is gory ass shit you're just like oh right? you kind of do it in the beginning of the mission but it doesn't show oh it shows everything it shows Does you it pulling sh- shows you ripping the skin off and like you hear it ripping and pulling the guts uh, out i killed a gator today gator See, i was riding my horse to the bayou Gator scared my horse. My horse bucked me off, and I fell off my horse. And the gator was just sitting there hissing, hissing at me. And I was like, "Fuck you, gator!" I shot it like six times with my big rifle. <laughs> got some gator meat out I of got it. Some right. Gator meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I the shit out of that gator. I took off his back, and it's like I cut his belly open, and I took off the you skin. You skin on that gator. Skin mm-hmm. the fuck out of that gator. And then, yeah. and then when you skin him, you just leave like their. Is there like it's all like yep. just there, just laying there, all fucking yep. no skin? It's yeah. like, oh damn, that's gnarly. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. We'll catch you on the next week's edition of the Horrible Gamers Podcast. Probably expect more Red Dead talk, probably more in depth talk about the story and etc. Um, as I will continue playing the hell out of that this weekend and this week and until next week. Anyways. What is Gidget say, Jesus? Peace out, Brussels sprouts. We'll catch you on the next week's edition of the Horrible Game. See you guys. Goodbye. goodbye. Oh, we said goodbye at the same time. Later, folks. Goodbye.